Has everyone got their dancing shoes on? Yeah. Are we talking tap dance? Are we oh, talking all right. Yeah. Awesome. All right, all right, all right. Here we are. Let's bring it in. Last week, what you missed on last week's episode of D&D with the boys. We had episode three where we are all still in the mansion trying to find the crying baby screaming sound. And Larry rolled the best perception check in his entire life, a nat 20, and heard the baby scream from the basement again. And the crew of misfits found that the higher you go up, the closer you'll get to the basement. Just like every other mystery mansion, <laughs> haunted mansion in the entire world. The more you go up, the faster you'll get down. That's exactly what they did. On their journey, they fought two direwolves and they broke the illusion. Well, not broke, but discovered the illusion of the mystery mansion. And uh, then they found the ghost of one of the, was it a maid, I believe? Like a babysitter almost? And then also the ghost yep. of the two kids. And the two kids said that the mom and the dad are not what they appear to be any longer. Then the crew goes down to the basement just to find the crying baby sound to be a giant monster. Mm -hmm. And here we are. Okay. Yeah, you hey, can uh, mark your point of inspiration. Thank you. Hey, Rudy, look in Gary's library real quick. <laughs> what did you do? <laughs> <laughs> that's a funny meme that's going around. Oh God! Oh All right. goodness! So, without further ado, I need everyone. I yield. <laughs> to roll for initiative. All right. I, wait, can I use my uh? Oh. Can I use my cantrip on this? My guidance, or does that not come for initiative? Really? It doesn't work for initiative. Okay. I got, oh fuck! I got an eighteen. I don't want to be here anymore. Ah, uh, you get to go first. Wait, no, normally everyone wants to go first. You're the only person who doesn't. Yeah, I'm, I mean, I should probably go first. But... <laughs> I the fear. my shit. For uh, stream sake, I, I uh, rolled a 12. <laughs> Close stream. I, I was waiting 12. for someone to attack as he pulls out a giant 12-foot machete. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I, I'm really so ready now. for this. I just had two bowls of chicken and rice soup and a whole roll of do si -Do Girl Scout cookies. I'm cracked. Oh, you're really? cracked. Hey, I thought you wanted to work out, dude. That's not. I have holes I in my a, face that hurt. Monster. Okay, there's no working out for me. Dude, did you not hear? I fucking I chipped a whole tooth. I have four teeth yanked out of my face. I have messed up teeth. Can <laughs> we get on with the freaking teeth conversation? <laughs> We're just waiting for Trevor to write down who I'd goes where. I'd prefer to get on with D and D, but if you want to talk about the teeth conversation, <laughs> we love Sorry, some teeth. I got a lot of teeth, and then I can you tell you. I shot a teeth like a bunny. in me. Oh, dude, Trevor, while you're doing that, I had a question last week that I never asked you. What's and I'm going to find it. Right I'm going to find it right now because I'll be able to find it quickly. Oh, wow. And it was something regarding... Oh, so it was a bonus. One of my traits... I'm trying to find it, but it said, like, as a bonus action, if I have two small weapons, I can... Like, as a bonus action, I can use the second one as well. Mm -hmm. Can I do that? So my crossbow is considered light. Like, am I... Is it possible for me to use the crossbow... As like a light for a like an attack, and then like as the bonus action, you use one of my cantrips, or is that not not allowed? I'll allow it. Sweet. <laughs> Tell like, like, my face. You anything goes, really. Dude, we like we like Trevor. Oh. Rudy, after this, by the way, I need to talk to you about getting me in Vance and eights. Um, eights, eights are fun. We can definitely yeah, do really that. Is. I can see your guys' initiative, so I'm just writing it down. Yeah, yeah. Good. Dude, uh, then we were saying yesterday, or I was saying yesterday, yeah. Literally, I would rather 100% of the time, if we're all on playing League Play, I would 100% of the time rather play a best of 5 eights lobby than to play League Play. Just because I don't really care what my rank is in COD, because the rank system, like, is jank. So, like, an 8s lobby is just more fun. To be all I know is, is Monday, this, uh, this... The Valley Valley? <laughs> yep, the new season. This, this initiative is very... Hopefully it I get to go first. Oh. Backwards. All right. <clears throat> so as you guys are prepping and standing and sitting there, and you know, I had the uh, I realized there was a voice mod that I could have used for this baby that just turns my voice into a baby voice, but huh. I find oh, it dude, so if I recall, gonna... if I recall, me and Vance, aka Jimothy, both said that we were we had our weapons ready going down into the basement. No, I was one of them. It was, it was me you. Me and okay. Because yeah, Vance doesn't have weapons. That's right. His head. Yeah, you, guys he has... all had, you guys all had a chance. 
Also, you guys all had the opportunity to, like, ready weapons, because you guys saw this thing pulling itself out of, like, this pile of, like, viscera and chunks of flesh and bone. Yeah, I loaded my crossbow. And it's just this giant, amorphous flesh, like, it's like this, like, giant mound of, like, bits and pieces of flesh just kind of, like, stuck together and piece of it will just slough off and fall into the fall into this, like this pool of water that's now turned to blood oh sounds kind of hot and so how well rudy's getting canceled on twitter <laughs> <laughs> and so up top in the initiative is a uh, valentine oh thank you <laughs> valentine which makes a lot of sense because he's quick boy Quick boy, aka okay, Joe, who's not here this week, and neither is Jimothy or Vance this week, but they will be returning next week. Um, well, hopefully, obviously, but you know what I'm saying. They plan to. Things happen, you know. Things happen, yeah. dude. Life comes at you quick. I might not like for like play his character exactly correct, but you know, he's gonna dash up and <clears throat> make an attack against the flesh golem. This is the Joe part. Here... This is the part where Trevor literally is just playing games with himself. <laughs> He's like I'm he's attacking my myself, character and, like, and my attack and my character's attack. He's gonna do this, <laughs> he's gonna do this gonna and I'm gonna do that. He's gonna hurt me and I'm gonna hurt him back. <laughs> yep, and then you know. So, and so when Joe comes back, who's gonna tell him he's dead? No, <laughs> he's, gonna, he's gonna hit, and I'm just gonna. Fucking who's gonna tell me sacrifice? Roll him. damage. All right. <laughs> Trevor's <laughs> having an internal conflict with himself. That's yeah. what's happening. <laughs> I mean, it's nothing new to me. I've been doing this for a while. Clefairis, you're up. <laughs> Good job, Clefairis. Did, well, did, did Valentine do anything? Yeah, Valentine like <laughs> Valentine rushed up and he hit him with his chain, and then he's going to bonus action. You watch as Valentine rushes up, hits hits the creature oh. with his chain, and takes a, uh, slices against its torso, and then just like backflips back and dashes back behind you. Oh fuck! I Whoa, can't. Whoa, he's behind the portal. It's kind of awesome. <laughs> okay. Sure okay. The airbender? So I'm going to. Oh, my spells. I wish spells would be on the same page with your action mm. page. They are. Uh, no, they're not. Not on mine, at least. Well, then you don't have any spells that are supposed to do anything. What? That's weird. I mean, you have vicious mockery. That's weird because mine are. <laughs> if you go out to your actions and you scroll down, you don't see them? No. Huh. What are you looking for? I mean, I believe you. Like why his attacks aren't on it? Like his spell attacks aren't on his action page. All, all that's on uh, here is healing word. Uh, you're gonna have. You might have to add those to your attack actions. I know I was recently building a spellcaster recently, and I had to like take some of those and like add them myself. Okay, I can do those later. Uh, I'm gonna shoot him with my crossbow. Shoot him, Elizabeth. Shoot him. Shoot him. Preferably. In does mm -hmm. the head look does the head look solid or does uh, it all yeah I mean it's like it's mostly together like some pieces are coming off but it is this giant like mound of like living flesh that's just screaming with this imagine a baby that's just screeching at the top of its lungs. I'm gonna shoot it in the head. <laughs> wow, Shut up, baby. Weird imagery going on. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'll hit the baby too. No. <laughs> yes, Nada. That's pizza. Uh, that's so I just I just roll the damn it the the one d eight that's next to the crossbow, correct? You gotta roll a hit first. Yeah. Roll the hit. I don't want to talk about it. I rolled a four. <laughs> Yikes. <laughs> You aim and you fire and it kind of bounces off. And I shoot Rudy in the head. Fleshy like <laughs> form and it's just like looks so around. Now I, I Your can't... arrow looked just like that breadstick. He just I can't it. use an attack. <laughs> yeah. Can I use an attack and a cantrip at the same time or the same turn? No, I can only do that because I have like an ability to like a feature to do it. So the only thing I can do after attack is I still get like thirty feet to move. Correct. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna back up. About a solid five feet behind Vod. <laughs> okay, remember, you guys were uh, on this, like, raised dais. Oh, yeah, we're back that to That was in a pool of water. That water has now turned, like, a thick, sloshing blood. Oh. Yikes. And you see chunks of, like, uh, muscle and membrane that kind of, like, will slosh up against the side of this uh, dais. Stop talking. <laughs> That's gross. <laughs> <laughs> 
It worked yeah. the morgue. Got it. So Yikes. yeah, I guess. So yeah, I guess we're all just standing there. So I will. I mean, you can certainly put yourself behind Vud. I'm going to put myself behind Vud, and I'm going to give him Bardic Inspiration. Woo! There you go. Was it a D6? Uh, yep, and then I'm going to summon Pot of Greed and end my turn. Pot of Greed? What does that do? <laughs> <laughs> Pot of Greed! <laughs> to draw um, three into a card. All right. As the end of your turn, Kalaris, it is the Flesh Mound's turn. This is one and, thing, right? Yeah. Okay. I'd like Larry, to do a it, card. Larry, you're on deck, so you're going to be after the, the okay. flesh mound. But, what is it going to do? I'm just trying to find this thing I was telling you, like where it says I can do a second attack as my bonus section. I can't find it, so I'm not going to use it if I can't find it. You want to know what you should right? do? You should focus on the giant screaming baby in front of us. Well, that's what I'm saying. I'm trying to figure out what my two things are going to be, but I can't find it. It's going to move up, and it is going to make an attack at Larry. Ouch. Don't die. I try not to. Don't worry, I can heal you. Thank you. I think I can heal myself because I have cure wounds as well. Actually, no, 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 your Discord server banned me earlier. Yeah, you could rot. No. <laughs> B6 <laughs> did it. B6 did it. Not me. I don't think it's going to hit. That is a solid 9. Ah, no, I'm a 13. I think, I think, a, nine, I think a 9 can hit. I'm a, I'm, I'm a teammate. I'm a teammate. A solid 9. All right, that's I, not going to hit. I'm gonna give him so, Bardic Inspiration. <laughs> you watch as like this, this like this flat, this mound of flesh kind of walks up, lumbers up, and swings one of its large like arms at you. And Larry does. You Ow! duck down, <laughs> but then like this thin curtain of like like blood and like fatty membrane just slaps you across the face, leaving like this red mark. Ew. I'm choosing to imagine this creature as the poop monster from Conker's Bad Fur Day. <laughs> Wow. He just said, oh, hell no, baby. Smack. Larry, it is your turn. My turn. Okay, well, so I can't find that thing, so I'm just going to do one one move uh, because, you know, I don't want to cheat. Uh, so you I'm going to use my attuned crossbow. Wait, is That's he right next to me idea. now? Is he right next to me now? Mm -hmm. Son of a gun. I guess I'm not going to use my attuned crossbow. I'm just going to dagger him. I'm going to dagger the crap out of him. You can always step back. Oh, I forgot to... Uh, I like rolled for him, but I didn't roll. I rolled my damage. I forgot to roll it for hit first. So, so you could you can always take a, a step back and take yeah. the attack of opportunity. Yeah, I don't want him to take an attack of opportunity on me. He's already. Also, I don't think I don't think we should step in whatever goop is on the ground. <laughs> Probably it's also all over my face already. All right, no, so for my dagger to hit, another. we roll a nine plus. What is that? Where did it go? So I rolled a twelve to 12. hit. Twelve. It does not hit as you go into. Wait, I have inspiration though. Stabbing. Can I use my inspiration? If you want, to, yeah, you can use your inspiration to reroll it. So is that so that's just an entire reroll, right? Yep, it's just a reroll. But reroll. And thirteen. Thirteen still does not oh, hit. Oh, they're lover, dude. Oof. All right, well. as you go to jet move your and stab forward, you you just don't you're just not strong enough to break like this. It's kind of hide it has built for itself. <sighs> what a jerk. Well, boys. No. GG no re. Are you gonna stay there? Or are you gonna are you gonna get out? I am going to. I'm just gonna stay here like a man. Just hold 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 strong. All right, Jimothy is going to. Oh, here we go. Trevor playing with himself again. Yeah, you know. Trevor's gonna okay. play D and D again by himself. Wait, right. He's gonna move around and uh and try attempt to flank the flesh mound. I fuck. I fucking roll better, and I'm role playing your guys' characters. Good. <laughs> all, right. all right. All right. He's gonna. Wow, well, she comes up and he cracks it right in the like right in the back, and it kind of staggers for a second. That's a lot of damage you just did. That's a lot of damage. I just Five, wheel away from my turn because this is something. And Ten then, uh, how many key points does he have? What is our birds? Key points here. Uh, for the key point to he's he's, he's gonna go take another attack at it. Yeah, hit him real good. But now wait a minute. <laughs> hit him real good. He makes two more attacks. Oh my goodness, that's what I'm talking about. Go Vance. First one's gonna hit. <laughs> Vance, I like when you're not here better. Second one's gonna hit. <laughs> <laughs> you do a lot more damage. <laughs> you drew, you're so, I just whoa, my goodness. Twice. Jeez Louise, Trevor, relax, relax. You watch as Jimothy walks up, is kind of like. 
takes a stance and just cracks him three times. He watches a big chunk of flesh falls off to the side. Mike Tyson Sadie style. Just starts screaming. That's a lot of damage. It's a lot of damage. It's Mike Tyson style on him, huh? What are your earnings, baby? Oh, zero now? Cool. Yeah, zero yeah, now. Been... And now <laughs> they have been just took it off. Bud. Oh, okay. You are up. Keep in mind you have Bardic Inspiration. Yeah. Don't forget to rage. Yeah, don't forget to rage, please. Actually, I wasn't even gonna use my rage. I no, no, my, no. Uh, That'd be dumb to not rage. Attack. No, no, you rage. You rage first. Rage? Fine. I guess I'll rage and then do my reckless attack. Thank you, yeah. Rage yeah. is gonna give you bonus damage, and any time okay. it hits you, you're taking half damage. The... Okay, okay, so... Rage is kind of your bread and butter as a barbarian. Okay, so then... I do my rage. I'll do reckless attack. Okay. Uh, does that mean... So, when I attack, I use my strength instead of attack then, right? According to what I just read? Uh, it should, uh, it should calculate. You're just using your attack to hit and damage, so... All so right. you're rolling with advantage, so roll twice and we're gonna take the higher. For hit, right? Yep. That's eight. Or that's a twelve. Then, uh, again, twelve. All right, you swing and it just kind of steps back for a second and it moves forward. You just can't. You just can't seem to connect with it. Oh crap! I'm glad Trevor's hitting himself since we can't. <laughs> yeah, I'm just. <laughs> Dude, I can't. I, I must. I must have been crazy you, when I seen that thing. You have a movement, bud. If you want to step out of melee range to this thing, you can. But it will get an attack of opportunity at you. Or yeah, you can no, just I'm just gonna stay there. Okay. Uh, Ferris is still behind me, so I might as yeah. well stay where I'm at. All right. Uh, and then it is uh, Valentin Matikov's turn. Um. All right, you guys are all in combat, so he's gonna. Move around to the to the back and make an attack. Oh, Jesus, Trevor! Oh my goodness, that's like your fourth Sorry. time today. S Sorry, that was a natural twenty that he just rolled to hit. Wait, you for us or against no, us? Yeah, for, for you. For oh, you. thank you. Sorry. I will, I will, I will, I will censor myself. <laughs> yeah, because I believe it's Valentine's turn. Good job. Right. Nat 20, this mother. So, I'll tell you guys my crit rules right now. When you roll a natural 20, you're double, you, you're supposed, like, how rules is written, you would double the amount of dice you roll. But how we've been doing it is you take your damage, you put it at maximum, and then you roll an additional die. So, like, so say... I just remember like last week the website like wouldn't let us do that, so we're gonna have to override it. Is someone yeah, rolled a nat yeah, twenty last week? Yeah, we're just gonna have to keep it in mind because it's not like just because otherwise it's not gonna feel like you're really critical like critically hitting something if you roll badly. True, dude. I like that. See, look at this guy. All right, so the eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Uh, nineteen. Uh, that's a lot of damage. That oh, that's what that's from. It's from the force flags or whatever. The flex tape. That's a lot of that's damage. That's a lot of damage. <laughs> Sneak attack. I just remembered I had the wolf skull. Oh, what is that gonna do? <laughs> Scare it? No. 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 Oh. It allows me to use one of my new leveled abilities. Nice. Okay. You watch as. Valentine comes up with his comes up with a spike chain, hits it and takes a large chunk mm, yes. out of his side. He might have done fifty six points of damage. Oh, my. oh so, so like not too much, but like he hurt. Jeez Louise, fifty six. <laughs> Man, you just you need to keep coming with us. You're you're with us now forever. <laughs> you save all your cure wounds for that guy for Jimothy. <laughs> Oh, that was Valentine, wasn't it? <laughs> oh, Valentine. Same all your yeah, for Valentine. for Valentine. All right, so now it is uh, Clefairis. Clefairis, so, try to top that. <laughs> I'm going to whip out, for for a little bit into my turn, I'm going to whip out that wolf skull I have, along with the pelt. 
Mm-hmm. Because that's going to allow me for my spiritual focus, which allows me to cast, like, super, like, basically additional bard spells as long as I have a candle, a crystal ball, a talking board, a tarot deck, or a skull. Huh. Okay. <laughs> so... I always true. knew I was a fucking genius there. Yeah, true. Uh, I'm going to use Vicious Mockery to tell the monster it has no earnings, no PR, <laughs> and it couldn't even make it on a Flex Seal commercial. That's a Wisdom Save? <laughs> wisdom Save? Like next to the uh, the spell, what's the... You sure it says hit size CC? Could I use my Cantrip Guidance for this? No, he has to make something no. to dodge you. Yeah, so what's your save, DC? You see where it says next of this is mockery, mockery. It says hit size DC. Uh, 14. 14? Oh, yeah, he fails. Roll nice! Damage. Nice, roll damage. Hit him Hit him real good. Three. <laughs> yeah. Hey, that that's almost this 56. This is mockery can only do four. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's almost 56. I'm not here for the damage. <laughs> You're here just to spit in his face. Hey, look at you. Yeah, you look ugly. You bad. You real bad. <laughs> and you smell good. I'm gonna do. I'm a very confused by this because the wording's really weird. But I'm just gonna do it anyways. I'm gonna use Bardic Inspiration mm-hmm. on Rudy, but I'm gonna ch- or on Larry, but I'm gonna channel it through my skull. Okay. So what that'll allow me to do is, while you're holding your spiritual focus, you can choose a bonus action to extend one use of your bardic inspiration and roll on the spirit's tail table using your bardic inspiration die to determine a tail. You retain the tail until you bestow its effects or you finish a short rest. Do I have inspiration again? Okay. So, I don't know what... Mm -hmm. I don't know what that means. I tell a tail if he uses bardic inspiration... Or if I could tell a tale in place of him using Bardic Inspiration. Let me uh, look at it. Also, I'd like to point out Tig never u- has not used his yet either. That's true. Tig still has his. I wish this was uh, Tales from Beyond. Yes. Because I'm using the wolf skull to... to uh, cause they, cause I like that's the why skull. I have my spiritual focus. I like the skull. Mm-hmm. So far, so good. And also nostalgic, because it's the first thing we ever killed. <laughs> oh, I found the, the thing where I can attack twice, Trevor, by the way. Yeah, so okay. I know you're doing something else for them, but I just want you to know I found it. Uh, No, okay, no, you don't have to assign the Bardic Inspiration. Basically, for Bardic Inspiration, you have a limited number of uses. Mm-hmm. So you're expending one of your uses to activate Tales from the Be- Tales from Beow. Oh, okay. So you are rolling to determine which tail you have, and that each tail has a specific set of abilities that it, like th- buffs that they can do. Oh. And you will retain the ability to, to use one of those until you're until you finish a complete a long rest. Uh what do I roll? Let me see here. Cuz there's no actual die slot for it. I think you just roll your inspiration. Yeah, your inspiration. Your, yeah, your bardic inspiration die. That's oh, that's one d six. Okay. Uh, a five. So whoa, where would my colleges be? Where would my tails be? New subclass. Who this? Oh, just so you, just so you're aware, dead. The there's a chance that subclass may change in the future because it hasn't been released yet but the book it's coming out and just got announced so some things may change in it interesting i uh, know roll a d12 oh roll a d12 okay oh wait no 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 roll the, roll the d6 we're gonna do something we're gonna, we're gonna keep it that to be the limit so yeah roll a d6 i rolled a d6 and i got a five got a five mm. yep. okay so you recall the tale of the avenger you could recount the tale of an avenging knight for one minute whenever a creature that the target can see within 30 feet of it is damaged by a creature you can use your reaction to deal force damage equal to your bardic inspiration die to the attacker. So when that, so for the next minute, so each round of combat is 60 seconds, so that's 60 seconds, 6 seconds, so every time Valentine goes an initiative, 6 seconds has passed. Okay. So you have this ability to use, like, 
you basically so for the next rounds. minute, yeah, for the next ten rounds, whenever you see an ally get hit with something, you can make that creature take force damage equal to the amount of, uh, equal to like you roll a bard against or roll a d6, and if you roll a four, they'll take four force damage. Oh, okay, nice. and they can't they can't like save that either, can they? Because it's force damage. No, and no. basically. And that I only expend one bardic inspiration to tell the tale, right? I don't do it every time they take fourth damage. No, no, you only you only expend it to tell the tale. Nice. And you basically ha you basically have this until your next rest. Hey. Just so I know, because I think the idea of it's really cool. How do you get to where you see the tales? Uh, I just look. I just went to D and D Beyond, and I just typed into that search bar to search everything. College oh. of Spirits. Thank you. Man, that just added a whole new thing that I love about this class. Nice. I like that. I like that. I like it a lot. All right. Oh, bards, bards could also fill this role like a utility caster. You're not a cleric in the sense that you're only there to provide support. You're kind of flex. You can buff allies. You can heal them. You can deal damage. It just all depends on how you decide to play it. Yeah. Oh. What he said. Oh. Okay, now Larry, fuck him up. All right. Oh, wait, no. so, I mean, first, he's going to fuck you up. Give him a sec. So <laughs> you still have a movement if you wish to move anywhere, or you're just going to stay behind Bud. Stay behind Bud. I almost call him Bud. Nah, he's a I'm Bud. Gonna, I'm going to... Nobody's been hit, right? Nope. No. Okay, so I'm going to remain behind Bud. Keep in mind, Bud, you have Bardic Inspiration. Mm -hmm. All right. It is now the Flush Mound's turn. Mm. Love a good Flush Mound. Love me against fleshy. Hey, uh, Rudy. Uh oh. Does a natural twenty hit you? No. <laughs> it doesn't oh, hit me really no. hard. <laughs> it doesn't. It has hit to be a natural twenty-one. It has to be a natural twenty-one to hit me. Uh oh. Do I have 21. anything? Oh. I don't have anything. On the bright side, he takes fourth damage. <laughs> oh. How much health do you have there, Rudy? After he kills you, it's gonna hurt. I have twenty-four health. Okay. Am I living? You're going to take 20 points of force damage, or 20 points of damage. If I it? use shield as a reaction, I know it's a nat 20, but can I can shield help mitigate any of the damage? Probably not, right? Because the only thing shield is supposed to do is give me plus 5 bonus to my AC, which wouldn't it do anything. So probably not then. Alright, so I take 20 damage. Yeah, because, it, cause, because altogether it was 27 to hit you. Yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. Well. So right. unless it can raise your AC to higher than twenty-seven. Yeah. Which it cannot. Which it cannot. And it's gonna take a fourth damage of four, due to okay. the event. Oh my goodness. I got you, Rudy. It was I, worth it. I didn't <laughs> Fourth force damage. And. Don't don't worry, Dalton. It was worth it. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna need you to make a. Athletics or acrobatics check, whatever, whichever is better. Uh, okay, acrobatics, athletics. Okay, acrobatics check. It was nice knowing you. I rolled a 12, <laughs> which cannot be good because it's got to be higher. Th he's got to be higher than a 12 acrobatic wise. I mean, he's a giant. You have I mean, jello. <laughs> you guys watch as uh -oh. <laughs> this thing slams Larry. It kind of smacks you watch these days at the moment. And it wraps It's it's these fleshy tendrils around it. Picks him up. Stuffs him down his throat. Oh. Bye bye. I'm inside. Hey, bye bye. I'm inside. <laughs> Too bad you're not the airbender. Just start poking anything. Huh. In theory, could I still healing word him in there? <laughs> <laughs> you have to have line of sight. Oh. And make roll a me a d4. What? Stab through his nipple. Roll Dude. me a d4. A d4? Okay. Mm hmm. Uh, D4, roll. I rolled a two. Okay. As you're drifting down, just barely conscious, the gullet of this flesh monster, you see ahead of you, kind of fused in with the body, a corpse of an infant. Good baby. Yikes. Alright, and it is now uh, Larry's turn. The corpse of an infant? Mm -hmm. Like, super dead. Like, I don't have to worry about trying to save the baby's life here? Based off yeah, what I can like tell? it looks like it's got, like, 
veins and stuff all hooked up to this <laughs> infant's corpse. Clefairy oh, has an so, if you need it. So can I... I know, like, we're in the middle of a battle, but can I, like, maybe come to the conclusion that I think maybe this baby is somehow, like, a power source or of some kind of a yeah, source? A power source? I don't know. Uh, I mean, it, the veins are connected it's to machine. it. It's making, it, it's it's making babies, like, roll, pl plankton inside. Roll, roll me an arcana check. Okay. Plank you know plankton inside uh, SpongeBob's head? 16. Yeah, you can you can kind of feel like this this baby is acting as, like, the heart of this creature. Oh, crap. Now I have to make the dilemma. Do I just want to stab the baby? <laughs> Do I want to free the baby? <laughs> <laughs> I am going to try to save the baby rather than stabbing the baby. I'm going to save the baby by stabbing it in the heart. I'm gonna... I mean, it's a corpse. It's a baby corpse. Oh, so it's already super dead. So I can just try it's to... It's already dead. Okay, well, I'm going to... So I've, I did find the thing, by the way, where I can do the two attacks. It's in my bonus actions, two weapon fighting. So yeah. I would like to, in that case... Man, I wish I would have kept the... I'm going to be honest, I wish I would have kept the bonfire cantrip because I would have set a bonfire inside this thing, but I, I lost... You are also inside of this thing. Right? I know, but I would have done it anyway. All right, so I'm going to use my dagger. I'm going to use my dagger as an attempt to cut the baby corpse and also cause damage. Like, cut the baby corpse out so, the vein, like the veins around it. I'm not going to try to hurt the baby corpse in case somehow... Twitch. Twitch is going to love this, so you're going to use your action to stab the baby. No, no, no. I said around the baby. You're going to cut the veins and everything. I'm going to try to cut the veins around baby. it, yeah. Don't Make be a tackle. bitch. Stab the baby. No, no, no. <laughs> not going to do that yet. Don't be a bitch. By the way, if you're trying to take baby. this out of context, this is Dungeons & Dragons. <laughs> it's not it's a real, real baby. Life. This is not real life. So can I do that? Well, can, I, can, I, can I Can I? make yeah, that a tank? Make an attack roll. Yep, make an attack roll. Okay, attack roll. Oh my goodness, bro. I rolled an 11. That what? hits. I was about to say, it's a baby. It can't really have that much acrobatics. I guess that's a good point, yeah. That hits. All right, and mm -hmm. then for damage, I roll a... Oh, wait. No, sorry. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I didn't roll damage yet. Damage is... Oh, crap. Only a two. But I get to do it twice. So that's two for the first swing. And I get a second okay. swing with the dagger. Yep. So that one to yep. hit, I roll a, a 13 again. So you we know, were rolling a lot of 13s. So we know that hits. And I roll yep. a freaking one again, so two. So I did four whole damage. Four whole damage. The baby you corpse. Watch, watch as you, like, quickly take the knife and you're, like, cutting all the veins. And then you finally just yank the last one free. And you guys all witness as, like, the body of this creature just begins to disintegrate. I won! I'm like I'm like Drax in Guardians of the Galaxy. He just goes inside the thing in the very first <laughs> in Guardians of the Galaxy 2. <laughs> That's me. <laughs> okay, so the, the creature's disappeared, correct? And Rudy is sitting there just covered in blood. Wow. Can I make a move real quick before anything happens? Okay. I would like to walk up to him and quickly use cure wounds level two yes okay. slay queen slay i would also like to use cure wounds on myself at the same time if i can <laughs> can i do that <laughs> well i'm gonna Where? see how much dent gives me first but i probably want to do it too dent or uh not dent clefaris please heal me Clefaris. you're healed for 11 okay uh i think i'm gonna still do it again just just in case another thing i'm at 15 out of 24 i don't i think we're good I'll save mine just in case. But thank you, Clefaris. Just because I'm very nervous, can I cast a level one cure wounds? <laughs> <laughs> on who? On me? On, on Larry? No, I can I can do it on Larry. myself. Don't 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 use another one. Don't use another one. I'll do it. I'll do it to myself. Okay. Is that yeah. cool? So Clefaris, if I do another one to myself so you don't have to waste it, the second one. Yeah. Okay. Sure. I'm gonna do it. If that'll make you not use the other one, I rolled a ten. So I'm at myself. Yeah. I have a really noob stupid question. Okay. So I have two level two slots. One spell doesn't take up two slots, correct? I can just nope. use two a level two spell two times. Yep. Okay. Or you can use cast a level one spell through a level two slot. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, you can always up you can always upgrade. So yeah, so like you like a uh like Pretty soon you'll get like a third level spell. You can take Cure Wounds and cast it through it as a third level slot, and it'll heal more. Generally speaking, taking a lower level spell and, sh and casting it through the higher slots, you're making it better. Okay. 
it just specifies like at the bottom of the spell if you scroll down it'll say at each level this is what it'll do like add this many die do we want me to do a song of rest real quick before we continue well no one else took damage but me i don't think we even need to do that I mean, we have yeah. a dead baby in our hands right now is there anything we should be uh, doing in this? your hands the the baby which was like a kind of a desiccated corpse the flesh is now like melted away to like a skeleton oh anybody want to guess where walter is <laughs> no uh, wrong answers <laughs> um yikes valentine valentine what's going on <laughs> he here goes, he goes let me see if I can do that accent. I've been struggling getting the Barovian accent down. You can do I it. I don't know what to do with the uh, child corpse. We oh. could put it. Oh, in didn't the, the two kids want it? The two kids wanted it. They said the ghost they kids. They did want it. Okay, let's. They wanted it buried next to. Yeah. So let's go. Wait, didn't they say they wanted it like in the room with them? Yeah. Okay, so let's go bring it. We'll stuff it in the toy chest. I mean, you guys have to go past that to get out because you have to go all the way back up yeah. to the attic to come all the way down. Okay. Well, assuming that. There's nothing else going on in here. Let's uh, let's. I say we go do that. So let's go stop by the kids' room again. Hello, here's your baby brother. We're sorry we couldn't save him. What Actually, happened? I, he ate me and I stabbed him. There is a trouble. I did not. I wanted to make it very clear. I did not purposely hurt are, the baby. You guys are making. You guys are making your way out of the basement. Yeah. Mm. Okay. What happened? Larry's holding a knife covered in blood. I don't know. <laughs> we found him like this. <laughs> I found him like this. Are you guys I'm going to a finger in my mouth as a toothpick? Are you guys going to check out any of the rooms that you passed by and didn't go down on your way out? Or are you just following the way you came? I'm gonna oh. follow the way I came in fear with the no, no, baby. No, 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 okay. No, 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 I'm gonna no, stop. No, no. Okay. 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 I had that light marked on that area that we saw the guy on. Yeah. But do we do that? Do we go explore that, or we just? Oh well, the baby, going? the the kids' room comes before that because, so for nope. going, no, nope. we're already that's downstairs. That's like the. Yeah, like, literally, we come upstairs and it's right there. Oh yeah, there was like that big room where. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Was yeah. blocked off. That. Yeah, but you guys said no, nope. we're wasting time. Yeah, but the baby might still be alive. <laughs> yeah, the baby's really alive. Uh, but do we do that? We're going that way. Even if I gotta go alone, and Bud's coming with me. No, I'm go no, we're going. We're going. <laughs> Even if I gotta go alone, but that big guy, he's coming with me. I'm going alone. But the I'm climbing back up. Come on, big. Come on, big guy. I'm just sitting there holding my my wolf skull. All right. I guess. As you guys, uh, you guys make your way back up the stairs, and you get to those two hallways that were blocked off that <clears throat> then unsealed themselves. Were you guys going to go down the right one or the left one? Uh, which one has my dancing light on it? Uh, you remember casting it down the left one. The left one, because remember, the left one appeared caved in until right as we were about to go downstairs, and then it revealed itself, and there was a picture of that man we've been seeing. Uh, uh, allegedly that man we've been seeing. Obviously, we don't know for sure it's him, but it appears to look like him. That That shrouded figure we've been seeing. So, confirmed entering the room. Yep. Yep. We'll start. <clears throat> All right. The three of you make your way in. Valentine and Jimothy elect to <clears throat> stand guard at the end of the hallway. Making it easy on himself. I like that. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to come back and they're both dead. <laughs> All right. So you guys make your way into the room. Let me just get uh, the right one. All right, so the room is festooned with moldy skeletons that hang from rusty shackles against the wall. A wide alcove in the south wall contains a what looks like a large, probably like 15, 20 feet tall, like stone statue of a gaunt, pale-faced man wearing a voluminous black cloak. His left hand is resting on the head of a wolf that stands next to him. His right hand, he holds a smoky gray crystal orb. And gonna... th there are exits in the west and north walls, which being one of them being you came from, and there's an opposite wall that has another door. I'm going to in front of me. I'm going to roll for investigation. Okay, what are you hoping to determine? 
Uh, mainly look at the statue to see if there's anything odd about it. There may be like, oh, there's a lever in the back, or this moves, or that moves. All right, go ahead. Make an investigation check. It is a six. Give me a sec. I guess still got to roll my d4 for guidance. Roll the, I rolled an eight. Nothing outside of the ordinary that you can tell. It appears to be just a statue, very much looking like the, the figure you guys have been seeing. I forget, have we talked about as a group that we have all seen this figure? Or have we all kept it to ourselves? Uh, nope, so Valentine and yeah, so Valentine and I have seen it together. Like, who all seen and it I've together? Seen it with Bud, me and Clefairis. Actually, yeah. has Jimothy seen it at all? Sure. Jimothy, Jimothy oh. has yet to see it. And like I said, for those of you who, in your dreams, I've described a figure watching. Mm -hmm. This is that figure. You can tell it looks exactly like that figure from your dreams. Okay, so so Jimothy knows of the figure. He just doesn't know everybody. He else hasn't seen actually it. seen it. Jim, I have yeah. word from Jimothy that he has not seen it. <laughs> then I'm going to. Yeah. <clears throat> this is the figure I feel we have all seen. No. Yep, I, I recognize this. Have yes. you, like Vud and I, seen him around the mansion? I seen him when. Valentine and I went outside the first time to chase the two kids on the porch. We seen it in the backyard out on the tree line for a second. And when we did a double take, it was gone again. So, where did, did you see it at? what happened to the bat? <laughs> well, the bat flew away. So, we, we distracted the bat. And then we actually, no, I don't know if it flew away. We distracted the bat and we all ran back inside. But that was, I mean, that that was a while ago. That was before we even encountered the dire wolves. Uh, Vud and I saw him as we were scaling the house, or not scaling the house, as we were wrapping around the house when we first got here. We saw him in the fields in the back. Or we, oh wait, uh... no, Vud didn't see him. Yeah, I did. Oh, I thought you rolled and failed that. Both of us. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, then yeah, we saw him there. Uh, quick question, off topic real quick, or no, technically on topic. My bardic inspiration, can I use the same skull, or do I need to grab a new skull every time I channel You can use the same skull. Okay, because I also have to snatch one. There's well, a baby skull. One of these skulls. <laughs> There's a baby skull Just you can have. Just don't smash it. There are certain spells that may require uh, a material component that would be consumed, which are like there are resurrection spells if someone dies that consumes diamonds or spells that can give everyone buffs that consume like like jeweled chalices stuff like that is something that's required to ca like to cast a spell because the spell consumes that and transforms it to something else but in cases with this you're using the skull to connect you to the spirits of the afterlife like it is a material component but you're more channeling it it does it, the spell itself doesn't require doesn't like consume it very nice. Because otherwise, you guys are going to be like removing the skulls of a lot of a lot of creatures. Hmm. You still have that baby? <laughs> we do, I mean, we have. If we haven't dropped it off in the room, we do still have the baby. Yeah. Look, look, they never said they wanted their brother back with the head. I'm just saying. Right, they never specified. Listen, that. listen so, I don't think they'll be happy. There is a room to kind of the far right from where you guys are standing and you watch as like this, this wooden door creaks open slowly. Uh oh. A, a door in the room because so we have Jimothy and Valentine guarding Outside. the door. Oh yeah, uh, this is the opposite side of the, yeah. of the, the room. Um, okay, <clears throat> and I just uh, get my crossbow ready. You guys hear the, so the step of like soft boots. Coming but down the hallway, the door just opened. Not yet. You hear it coming down the hall. Coming towards mm -hmm. us. Mm -hmm. I'm going to ready an arrow on the bow, on like the crossbow on my back. But I'm going. I'm going to remain it on my back. I don't want to appear aggressive as the figure walks in. Yeah. I want to appear. I mean, dude, there was just a thing. I did something just ate me. 
Clefairis, something just <laughs> ate, something just ate me. This is not a safe place. We need to be ready. Hi. <laughs> okay, I'm ready. Thank you. You guys what watch as this well dressed. What were you saying? Take uh, I was gonna say I I think Vud would ask the little wizard guy to use his little mage hand to open the door fully so we get a better view. Oh, the door's fully open. It's just kind of you oh, guys. I it's slowly open. opened. Okay. No, it's... Yeah, it, it's slowly open. You guys are in like the middle of this room, and this is like on the far right side. So you okay. can see the doors open. You just can't. You're just not like. Oh yeah. In also, not only am I to see down the hallway. Yeah, not like you're, you're staring at it from an angle. That brings oh, no. up an interesting question. Now that this technically this monster has been defeated, is your mage hand still a skeleton hand? Uh, we'll figure it out like when I pull it out, but I'm not gonna use it just now. I gotta focus and also not only am I gonna have my crossbow ready, but I'm gonna step just behind Vud. <laughs> no, no, find a, find a different cover. I'm standing I, I, behind you know, Clefairis. I'm, I'm standing behind Clefairis. <laughs> no, I'm behind Clefairis who's behind Vud. That's the marching guys, order. Vud front. You guys watch as this well-dressed, almost like wearing a suit, uh, elvish man with like this kind of pallid gray skin walks out with like his arms kind of like neatly folded like much like a butler would stand like that classic like butler stance <clears throat> and he kind of walks out looks at all of you looks down the hallway comes back in grabs a kind of pouch at his side opens it reaches in he's like how many of uh are of you are there? Before this continues, I'm going to concentrate cast, detect thoughts to read his mind, to try to gather his intentions. It takes ten minutes okay. to do it, like it right? takes one minute. A oh, one minute, nice. It so does. You, it's still a minute. So like so as like, you're as talking, he's... yeah, yeah. So yeah, so like as they're talking, I'm like focused to detect okay. any. And I'll and I'll say, there's five of us. Who are you? Are you? You live here? Hey, let me pull up his stats for a second. Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so that's the stats of him. What about his AK 47? <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't know we had dinner reservations, guys. Okay, he does have a collapsible stock. <laughs> uh, <laughs> is there is there a save for detect thoughts? Uh, 14. Or it says uh, wisdom 14. Uh, so it's a wisdom save? Oh, baby, please miss. Okay. <clears throat> as uh, he goes. Uh, so what was what was the question? As he started detecting, I said, "There's five of us." I said, "There's five of us. Who are you, and do you live here?" I would ask. Who the fuck's asking? Because <laughs> this is a uh, immensely complicated question. Does he look like the <laughs> he, he, the guy we've been seeing, like the statue figure? No, he looks nothing like him. Okay. He goes. I uh, I've come. With an offer. Okay. He goes, one, my master would like to congratulate you on something you have recently accomplished. Your spell casts. And when you detect his, you go to reach into his, uh, you go to read his thoughts, you get nothing. Nothing. So I don't think it's a real person. I think this is like an embodiment of some... One else, like speaking to Who's him. your master? He goes, My master is the master of this land. He kind of gestures to the statue. That's your master? So because... you mean no good. Mean no good. What do you mean by I mean no good? My master protects these lands. He protects its people. But you just said your master wanted to like, award us for yeah, the for... thing we just... You've cleared this house of a infestation. Can I do an arcana check to see if this is a, a real person or if this is like a beacon? Uh, yeah, you... can I too? Go ahead. I'm going to cast Guidance for both of us, by the way. What does so that do? I do a D4. Extra D4 on top of it. Okay. okay. I, mean, I like I, being big, dumb, and ugly. I'm going to get 20. I got a 26. Okay, well, we are we are not special here. Uh, He's real. 
He's real. Real fella, huh? Mm-hmm. How? Then, then before this continues, I'm going to let everybody know that I detected his thoughts and I got nothing. So clearly he doesn't have a brain. <laughs> it, do, you, do you say that out loud? Uh, I'm going to whisper it to him that I don't believe this creature has a brain to produce any thoughts. Make a stealth check. Make a stealth check. Yeah, you got to be sneaky about it. Sneaky. Make it a 15. Let me roll my d4. I'm going to get a 17. Okay. As you kind of whisper that to your comrades, he goes, I assure you, Tortle, that I, uh, I'm real. I felt your intrusion in my mind. It was not very polite. That wasn't me. Different guy. <laughs> it was the other Tortle. So how did your master know that we just did that? You're here instantly. We That just happened a few seconds ago. How long have you been watching us? He, he's, he knows everything that happens in these lands. He knew from the moment you've entered these lands that... Uh, oh, no. That you were here. Did he bring us here? Because we did not come here voluntarily. What are these lands? Where Where, where are we? Because we technically don't know where we are. I thought Valentin told us. Valentin told us that we're in Barovia. Yeah. But we don't know like, what Barovia check. is. Oh. Yeah, I mean, we didn't know what I mean, Barovia is. Also, we were brought here by magic. For all we know, we're in a twisted cantation of Barovia. He goes, he goes you are in the lands of Barovia. Under the care and rule of its monarch, Count Strad von Zerovich. Is that your master? That is the lord of these lands, yes. He, he, kinda, he reaches back and he pulls a, like, he'll, he pulls a bag out of... Uh, like, out of the bag he's holding, he pulls a smaller bag out and he kind of... He does it, he makes a point not to step within 10 feet of you, and he tosses the bag on the floor in front of you. He's the maid chain to pick it up. He summoned the maid chain? It's a skeleton. Skeleton's still Clefaris. Yeah. It picks it up. It brings it over to you. What's inside of it? Money? You you open it up, and you don't see anything. He goes, think coins, and you will find that there are about 200 gold pieces in there. He said think Along coins, the... and... Wait, mm-hmm. is this a bag of holding? It's a bag of holding. Oh, don't give him this bag. Like we should give it to the bard. No, the bard takes and... everything. Me. Shut your mouth. You don't even know what this is. Okay. I have you to hold skull. You've got a skull. skull in my backpack. And just, I'm waiting for someone to bring it up. He takes this. He takes the bag that he was. He had in his hand. He kind of crumples it up. He kind of just stuffs it in his pocket. And he goes. Also, you will find a letter of invitation to you and your crew to the castle Ravenloft. To attend a dinner with Count Strad von Zerovich. You could either come at your leisure, or the three of you could speak with could come with right come could come with me now to speak with the count. But we he we, will they have two more with us. <laughs> he will he will return you to your friends. And with that he turns, it starts it walks out the corridor. Okay, I look at you two. When he said he would return us to our friends, I I think we need to take especially Valentin uh, with us. Valentin knows this area, but I also feel like we need to go with this guy because he knew what we did like seconds ago. Like he knows I feel like he's gonna force us there anyway. Well also just out of my own curiosity, I'm gonna cast dancing lights and like set it down the hallway to see if like did he just straight up disappear or is he like actually walking away? If you poke down the hallway and you see him he's kinda st- he, he, you see him walk. He starts walking down the hall, but he kind of disappears into the darkness. So I'm then going. I'm going to tell her. I, I definitely feel you are correct. This man clearly wants us there, whether we choose to be there or not. Yeah, so but we, I, de- we definitely need to take Clif- our uh, Valentine and Jimothy, Valentine. though, especially Valentine. We can't separate. You, we don't know this area. You he, won't give Trevor a break tonight, will you? <laughs> he 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 will get. He gave you guys the option of. You could either Going come now. now or come later. If you want, you can retroactively make an inside check to see if that meant he'll just take you of your own accord. Sure. 
Sure, I mean, yeah. I'll do that. Uh, you'll have guidance too, Rude. Okay. I rolled 20. Let me roll a d4. I mean, it doesn't matter. I have 20 anyways. Uh, 22. Uh, I rolled a uh, oh, 21. You could tell. He was being forthright. He wasn't insinuating that you would be forced to come. The offer to come now was polite. Mm -hmm. He really didn't give a shit whether you came with him or not. Okay. It honestly seemed like more of a burden if you traveled with him. Wow. Hmm. That kind of makes you want to go with him. We're going with him now. <laughs> 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 Fuck you. Come back. We're coming. <laughs> What's up? Are keep, we are we in agreement that we should call? Are we are we agreement we should go get Jimothy and Valentine and go follow him? I feel we should long rest first. So the only problem is that if we do long rest, if we take a rest here, we're going to have to travel the Raven loft by ourselves. Right, that's, that's what I'm thinking. But we don't know like, how far away Raven loft can is. Can I go yeah. to Valentine and ask him how far away Raven loft is from here? You're going to go to Valentine and ask him how far Raven loft is? Yeah. Okay. Um... As you go and you ask him, you ask a question, he kind of leaves you a weird look, he goes, God, dang it, Joe. This is real stuff that he should be here reacting for. Mm -hmm. Breaking, goes, Joe. Ra Ravenloft, why would you want to go to Ravenloft? It's not that far away, it's... Oh, yeah, if we yeah. are where I think we are, we are just outside the village of Borovia, and it's, it's just outside of town there. Well, we, we don't yeah. want to go there, but this... This guy who said he was who Strahd was his master just told us that we need to go there to see Strahd. He kind of looks around. He goes, "In there, just just now." Yes. You watch. He just he dashes down that hall, like in the direction that he went. Let's yeah, run with realize. him. Let's run with him. Well, well. Either way, this man's clearly like a magical being. We could just be like, we could just long rest and be like, "Okay, we're ready," and he could just probably like walk through a wall and be like, "Okay, come on." <laughs> My question is, what about the skeleton of the baby? We're just gonna ditch that whole thing yeah, completely. Yeah, gotta... Well, I mean, so I was with you guys, and up until Valentine started running toward down the hallway, now I'm following Valentine. I put the drop the skeleton baby on the floor. I'm running with Valentine, bro. He's the only one who knows where we're at. I'm not trying to get cursed, though. Valentine's the only one who knows where we're at, and if we lose him, we're screwed. Yeah, but Valentine's not an expert at where we're at, I don't think. I think he he just lives said, here. He lives here. Yeah. Oh, I didn't know he lived here. Oh. I, thought, <laughs> I thought this was a neighbor land of where he was. I thought he, they just dealt business with these. No, that's where he graduated back in 80. <laughs> back in Nam. <laughs> so, do you guys, are you guys discussing this in character as Valentine's dashed away, or are you just following? No, I was discussing that in character while running. Like, I, I'm just, come on, let's run. I'm running to Valentine. Okay. As you guys kind of turn... You're in the corner of the hallway and get into the maid room. You watch Valentine kind of staring down the hallway that the man came from, and he kind of looks at you all. He goes, there's no way anyone could have come down this hallway. It leads to a room with a piano. He used magic down the hallway to get away, I thought to myself. He walked into a wall, and he was gone just like that. He goes, well, I've... it appears that the offer has thus been rescinded. Well, looks like we're going to rest, and then we're just going to travel there ourselves tomorrow. We're going to, we're going to long rest. Do I, do I click on take long rest? Are we well, all long resting? Where are you guys long resting? I just assume no, like this house that is. I assume this house is safe now. And are this... you long resting in the dungeon, like in the no. basement? I want to go. So no, if we're staying here, yeah, if we're staying here. I don't want to rest. Yeah, let's bring the skeleton up to the kids' room and yeah, go no, talk we'll, to them. We'll rest there. Yeah, we'll talk to yeah. them first, and then figure out. Ask them if we can, if they would mind, you know, we're not intruding real, on them. Real quick, as we're walking, I'd like to, like, essentially shout into the unknown, are you still here, all-seeing being? Or, like, can you still hear us? Who are you trying to address? Uh, either the, the person who gave us the offer or the Count himself. You know, not, you get no response. 
Okay, because I honestly, I honestly thought like if I just called out to him that the guy would come back and be like, "Yeah, come here, Dorth, right here." He's like, "Yeah, what's up, <laughs> Doordash?" Well, clearly, he can teleport. And clearly, he's an all-hearing being. I mean, <laughs> Uber's here. What's up? I mean, that doesn't mean he didn't hear you call out. He just didn't respond. Jesus, I'd like to whip out my iPhone 12 and call an Uber. <laughs> do you do you say that as a, just a, while you guys are leaving the the basement? Yeah, leave the basement, going towards the so, the kids' room. As you shout it out, you watch as. There's a few bats that kind of flutter and go go up the stairs. Way to after go! After you shot that stupid toidle in his bath how, now. How big are the bats? <laughs> Bat size works for me. <laughs> Keep walking. Then, but... then, as you shout that, Valentine will get really close to all you. Goes to watch what you are saying. Bats are spies for the devil. Just like pigeons in New York. <laughs> <laughs> You didn't hear anything, government. We were not talking about your cameras. <laughs> we respect your bir- your robo birds. We can see Rudy look over. Oh shit! There's a pigeon pecking out of his window. <laughs> He's got a little note, you know, too. What the fuck did you say? Yeah, he, you know too Rudy much. Got a text message from the FBI. Um, and then his the talk. eyes turn red and this laser at me. You just see a laser on my forehead. He's got a nine millimeter and a picture of Edgar. <laughs> Stop talking. <laughs> Buzz Edgar up. just comes walking in the room, the parrot sitting on, like a parrot, the, the pigeon's just sitting on his head, just... <laughs> <laughs> My wife shut up now! Oh, man. Alright, we're walking to the kid room. Get off this topic of threatening my dog. <laughs> Alright. So, you, so you walk up, the kids are sitting there, and as you approach, Rose kind of looks around, and she goes, and you did it. You, you did it. rescued you our baby brother. Rescued our baby brother. Well, our baby brother. the corpse. Yeah, we didn't. <laughs> we didn't rescue him. We we're sorry. We were too late. But we did, upon your request, bring his body back here to rest peacefully with you. I feel like we should. Something, no. Some, something is better than something nothing. Better than we appreciate your help. Appreciate your help. Yes. Once again, we are sorry for your loss. If you could just. Put him in the him in box the next box to box ours. ours. Okay, I set him down very us. gently. Us. Us. You watch as when you do, they both kind of sigh and you watch their spirits kind of fade out. That's, that's kind of what I thought was going to happen. So now I look at our group like, okay, I think that this house is completely empty now. Do we want to maybe find a corridor that we can lock that only has one way in, one way out, and Rest before we go to Ravenloft. Well, does this, does uh, as as he's saying that, I'm gonna look. Does the does the room we're in door have a lock? I mean, there's beds in here. It's an attic, so it's got one. It, it's like it's got like the room you're in has one one door that gets in. Okay, so I remember the besides, way we got through this was through that wall. Yeah, besides the basement wall, the the entrance to the basement. There's one door that comes. There's one other door that comes and goes from this room. Is there a, a dresser that's not the box that the kids are in in the room? Yeah, you have a bud that can. Oh wait, if you guys are going to the, the kids' room, so yeah, if you guys are in the kids' room, there's one door in and out. Yeah, so I'm gonna point at Vod and point at like the dresser and like a send a, a you put that in front of the door. Okay. So you guys are gonna stay in the kids' room. Is there, guess so. beds? there are two kids beds sized for kids. A little turtle man's big enough. Yeah, I'm only four foot six. <laughs> <laughs> I don't yeah, know yeah. if any of the other players would protest to this. They're not going to. We decided so for them. Just, they're just going to go along with it. Yeah, they, they brought sleeping bags. We can all sleep on the floor. Well, right? but I, mean, I will say we need to take shifts. Five, we, right? we definitely need to take shifts. Does anyone here... Is there anyone else here who doesn't need a full night rest? Well, Hang on. I don't. I'm only I'm thirty or thirty two from my health. Well, so what I mean is like, can anyone else here trance? Is what I mean. Because if you so take if you stay awake for like too many days, then you start to like roll a disadvantage on everything. So you need to rest. What I mean is, can anyone else trance? I didn't want to say that. Is there a? Sorry. Are there any animals nearby? Well, we're in a house. You don't know. You're in a house. <laughs> yeah, like, you're like well, I mean, like, is there any rats or like mice crawling around across the floor? Roll perception check. Signal for those badges scared. 
15 plus what, 19. None that you can see. Okay. Because I'm going to speak with the animals and be like, you, you're on guard. <laughs> so uh, I'll look at Valentine. Like, do you want to take shifts? Like, of guarding? Yeah, we could each take shifts. Because I suppose yeah. if we really have to sleep in this, this room. If we're taking shifts, this is a really weird one. Um, If I use a spell while it's my shift, can I? Will that still disappear for long rest? Uh, yeah. If you rest well, after you, your shift. Yeah, it'll disappear after, like, the time period it has had ended. Okay. Because when but it's like this. my sh shift, I'm using disguise self to make myself much taller and look like an ogre. But nobody <laughs> you want to go okay. first, then. So, so, put it like this. Between the three of you, each of you could take a shift, and you guys would get the full eight hours of rest. Yeah, I was going to say, why don't I go first from guarding, like Vud, so that... After my turn's over, Clefairis can go. He can use that spell. He's already rested. Well, I'd want to do it before, so I don't have to take a slot to use it. Yeah, let oh, Clefairis yeah, okay. go, yeah, go, yeah, go first. Go first. first then. Okay. then Vud, then me. So I'm going to transform into a five foot six, very brawly, muscular ogre. Okay. Oh, wow. You're <laughs> still small. Right, so <laughs> the rest of you start sleeping. Uh, I'm going to need Clefairis. To roll me a perception check. Oh no. Fifteen. Okay, fifteen. You hear the wind wailing in the distance and like creaking because it's a, it's an old like Victorian house, so obviously you're gonna hear the wood creak and move as the wind blows against it. There's points where you hear a. And you kind of poke your head out, and you kind of see down a, a, in a, in a window down down the corridor, just a just kind of a tree branch, a couple of tree branches clashing together, like their sound echoing. I just realized, like, Nothing. if I were to do this, and let's say we get into a fight, I can have the physical strength that I transformed into, so I could actually Nothing. use that to fight. Nothing eventful happens on your watch. Who's okay. got second watch? Bud, do you have a second watch? I can, yeah. yeah. Okay. Well, Rudy, would you want to use any spells that would help you? Because Bud, like the... no. Bud yeah. has the least amount of spells. So I don't really need to use spells. Like, I mean, I, have, I, mean I, I, no, I don't really need to use spells. Uh, well, what if you get attacked? Well, I, I can technically... usually shield as a reaction, but I can't Clefairis use it. Can watch... If Clefairis watches two hours and Bud watches two hours, then, I'm fully by that time, then by that time, Larry's fully rested, and he can watch the rest of the night. Because I only need four hours of rest. Okay. Yeah, that's kind of what I was thinking. Oh, is that part of your class? Why well, do you only need four? Oh, uh, yeah, of it's a part of being a yeah, high elf. I only need, oh. It's called trancing, so I have to Let's sleep for first. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Uh, full elves. <laughs> yeah, full elves get a uh, trance ability to rest. I mean, they don't get a dope ass shell. True. Yeah. True. Well, you, bud. <laughs> True. Listen here, hero in a half shell. <laughs> Turtle power. I'm right. in the last uh, round. All right, Vud. Mm -hmm. You take a second watch. Roll me a perception mm -hmm. check. Nine. Nine. Okay. Oh, I'm asleep, so I can't give you guidance. True. Super sleepy. Two hours pass. Nothing out of the ordinary. I like it. You wake up. You wake up, Larry. <laughs> Tiny men wake up. Okay. <laughs> wake up! <laughs> yeah, thanks for not hitting me awake. I, I meant you fix him up. Tiny man, wake up! Get <laughs> It's your shift. <laughs> All right, Larry. I'm, I'm up. I've taken my full rest. I clicked it. All right. Roll me perception check. Perception. Oh, damn! I just thought of something. I wish I would have done. Perception oh. check. I rolled a uh twelve. Twelve. All right. Watching, listening, you can, like maybe even take a couple laps around the attic just to kind of make sure. Look down the stairs. I would like to do something on my watch too. If what you're about to say is I don't say anything before I do, I want to. So for my infused items, can I at any time take an attunement off of one of my items and put it on something new? 
Um, are you talking about like your crossbow? Yeah, because I think I can do it to two items. It says infuse, infuse items special. I did one of the crossbow, but it says I have another slot here. If I'm reading that right, I would like to do it to my dagger too. If I can, like if in the future, if I get a better dagger, I want to not waste it on this one anymore and move it to the new dagger. Is that like a thing I can do? Like, what do you mean? So you know how like I have the cross, the light crossbow attuned, like it's infused. It's like my own magical mm -hmm. crossbow now. Are you talking, about your, are you talking about your attunement slots? Yeah. I'm going uh, to mm -hmm. take a piss real quick while you guys talk about that. Okay. Uh... No, with your attunement slots, basically that's when you uh, that's if you're finding stuff that requires it or requires attunement, like a magic item that, like, let's say, right, but but a, I can make something attuned to me, like, with my class, like to make it hit yeah, harder. Yeah, you'll get those. You'll get those more as you level up. You only have the one infusion right now. Okay, I only have the one. Okay, that's what I was. Saying. I was asking if I read yeah. it wrong. Okay, okay, cool, cool, nope, cool. You only have the one, but I will say after as a. Uh, you sit there and rest and you spend the four hours you just take bits and pieces you've had you've been of like <laughs> gears and stuff you've had sitting in your bag and you start piecing them together with this uh, i also have this new bag gem. i'm holding maybe there's something in there yeah with this with this gym you've been carrying you piece it together and you create your steel defender yeah how tall is he um he's like he's about four four or five feet tall <laughs> Baby, you guys He's wake up big as the poidal. Is there uh four or five feet tall? Nice. Okay, I gotta find as we just all right. Hum, is it homunculus? I'm trying to find. If you go in, if you go into your extras tab, there should be a, extras. Like, if you, nope, not an extras. To, I just seen to, another. Okay, no, you go to extras. You click manage extras. Okay. Oh, underneath add an extra. You choose category. Battlesmith defender. Oh. Uh, and then there's a whole bunch of. Challenge range options. There's a whole bunch of options here. There's a uh, just type in to go to the search bar and type in steel defender. Ah, there it is. Add. It's good. It the picture it's have the picture it has. It's gonna be a dog, but it looks can, like a doggy. It can look however you want it to look. I want it to look like lug nut. Okay, it looks like a smaller version of lug nut. Oh yes. Oh dude, dent. Yes. Well, oh, bro. When you wake up, there's gonna be a and, big robot in the room with us that I made. And as you and, and as you kind of put him, as you kind of put him together, he, he looks around, looks at you, waves, and goes, "Hi, I'm Lugnut." <laughs> so, <laughs> so, so oh. Dan and Tig don't know this, but I used to play a character called Lugnut, and now I just made a smaller version of him into my servant. He's as tall as you. If he's not as, yeah. He's four, five. What do you say? Four or five? Wait, what does this say? Does it's this like, say anything? Like, are we long resting, by the way? We're clicking long yeah. rest, right? Yeah, you guys are long resting. I don't know if it has a size. If it's bigger than the size, you can make it bigger. I'm trying to okay, see. I'm gonna, I'm gonna immediately break it on sight. No, it doesn't say oh. anything about size or anything like that. So I'm gonna say it's five foot tall. Five. It's okay. friend, friend feet tall. Okay. And before, before uh, we uh, end our long rest, uh, Edgar's crying here. If we could take a break uh, after you say whatever you're about to say, of course. Oh, we can. I was about to torment someone, but we can take a break real quick. No, oh, Tormentor first. <laughs> Tormentor first. Tormentor first. Okay. Uh, Clefairis. Yes? As you're resting, as you're uh -huh. sleeping, uh -huh. like dreams take you. You're sitting in your... You were, normally, your dreams have taken you to your swamp. But to, this time, you're sitting at a banquet table. Sitting across from you is a well-dressed man in a dark cloak... That you have seen in statues, seen in portraits. And he looks at you, raises his wine glass, takes a drink. I hear all, little turtle. Nothing is safe from my sight or my gaze. You Just... and your friends are a, cur are a curiosity to me. What are your intentions? Just to whip it out on the table, I'd like you to tech thoughts, just so we know as I mean fucking business. <laughs> okay. I know it's not going to do anything, but he's going to be like, okay, okay, I see you little shit. Take a just to whip it out on the table. <laughs> yeah, just to... Okay. Just to show I don't fear shit. Tiny little turnip man whip Bitch. something out. Wow. Uh, let me have. I gotta I'm too head. old and wise for you, you little shit. 
You, how old are you? No, not relevant. I'm old for a turtle. <laughs> I'm thirty. Wait, I think old. I'm like thirty-six. I'm old for a turtle. Oh man, you are. You are a. But I've seen. Okay. Cl- is, is the clean effect on? I can't tell with this new update. But uh, hey, you're good. Oh, you are a also, mere drop in the pond of this guy. Uh, real quick, <laughs> I forget. I forget. Did we establish? Do I know? Who who caused the event in my backstory? No, you have no okay. idea. Okay, okay. So I'm so I'm I'm gonna suspect. I'm assuming it's him. So let's take a break. Let's take a break. You, you, oh, you're okay. still in the dream. I'm sorry. If are you still in the dream? Yeah, still in the dream. I'm so sorry. Mm-hmm. I'm so sorry. Keep yeah, going. remember I just whipped it out of the table. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If, yeah, you, yeah. Want, we, you, if you want, we could take a break and then we could. Get yeah, let's the do that because Edgar's crying. I'm sorry, guys. Let's take a break. Okay, break. Yeah, that's fine. We can take a break. Mm-hmm. Bear back. I don't. I don't want to take a break for Rudy, but I'll take a break for Edgar. Okay, that's yeah. a good idea. We can we can take a small break and then be right back. One thirty-eight, twenty, break. Let me make it all caps. Break. Let that homie out. He's ready to go. All right, all right, bring it in. Clefairs was uh, having a moment. So I, I whipped it out on the table. Right, so you went to right. detect thoughts. Yeah. You go to. <clears throat> You you set you're sitting there staring at him, and a couple seconds, and like a little bit goes by. And he goes. I see, what you are trying to do, little friend. I don't fear you. Fine. I will let you in. And you and in that moment, you see you felt those gut those like. Those defenses that were. Keeping me out. Keeping you out. Suddenly drop and you go in and you are plummeting through centuries, possibly thousands of years of memories. You watch this no this kind of noble person who's resembling this being that you were staring at, marching with an army to against the shade it's like these enemy like these enemy these like this other supposing army which are like shades clashing and fighting, and you we see him like victorious but edit but he's being chased through these woods in the next moment and you see him being helped by people in colorful dress and healing him back to prominence it skips over again do you see this figure talking to a man that resembles him and a woman in with this very like kind of olive complexion and his gaze is stare is like is locked is like is is locked at hers while hers is looking with at this this other being with them it shifts again and you see this man standing with like a bloodied sword in his hand this other person down at his feet it shifts again and you see this woman running from him till eventually she throws herself off the walls of the castle plummeting down thousands of feet to the rocks below and then he watches these as arrows come flying and start piercing this being in the back. You see him laying there, and then your vision shifts and you're staring at this temple, this almost castle built of amber with shadowy figures drifting in and out of it. Eventually you're, you're pulled in and you're seeing this casket also made of amber with this shifting, rising, writhing inky like shape moving inside you watch as it bursts forth and the next thing you see you see the the a Mm -hmm. tomb uh open up and the uh sorry joe just texted me um open up and he gets out of it pale and then you watch your your it your shifts again as you see him standing on the balcony overlooking a village in a forest, and you see a couple other villages and cities in the distance as these massive walls of fog and mist entrench and surround the land, surround like in uh, getting into the ground. And, and then you see this like this like dark shape kind of coalesce itself next to him and he just kind of scoffs it shifts again and you see 
adventurers from all over people that you don't recognize but you can tell they don't belong here and you watch as he slaughters them time and time again repeating over and over and over and over for centuries I need you to make me a wisdom saving throw Wisdom. The force of this of these memories and this darkness is pushing in on you and threatening to tear your sanity apart. Fifteen. Fifteen. Okay. You're sitting there, you're, you're, you feel yourself, something's giving and breaking, and all of a sudden it's gone. Am I now back there, at the table with him? You're back at the table, you're... You're sweating. You reach up and you touch your like face, and you feel liquid pulling out of your eyes, your nose. You touch it, and you see your hand is just drenched in blood. And as you're sitting there, you get. You want to say something? You were a man given the godlihood of the nemesis. Why? I am a being that has seeked. Greater, I have given, and I have lost. I have lost. Just know, whatever you do, I am eternal. I am the land. I will watch you wherever you are. I know when you sleep. I know the decisions you shall make before you even make them. Why do you do what you do? Because there is no one who could possibly stop me. You are not a god. You are a man. He just kind of... He kind of looks and scoffs. I am so... So much more. And with that, you wake up. Uh, quick question, just for the idea of me pertaining the role of like this guy with a bunch of wisdom so mm. i get to remember all of that correct like everything right i saw i get to share that okay then i'm immediately whipping out my journal and i'm writing down everything like to the point where everybody's concerned because i just woke up and i'm writing down you, everything i saw from every century have, as Clefairs wakes up and you you all didn't notice it at first but now that you see him scribbling his face is covered in his own blood. And Lugnut turns to Lugnut and says, Hi, I'm Lugnut! <laughs> <laughs> so I'd just like to point out, I am a 36-year-old tortle with now centuries of knowledge. Centuries, Edgar. I would just like to point that out. <laughs> and you have a five-foot-tall robot in your face with bright blue <laughs> eyes. What's this tiny little metal thing? I am so in tune. I literally, I grab Lugnut's hand or Lugnut's hand. And I'm using it to wipe the blood off my face. <laughs> and Lugnut's just like, okay, hi, I'm Lugnut. <laughs> He's very... I'm glad I could be of assistance. Yeah, that's like. I'm that. imagining Lugnut as Pathfinder from Apex Legends. I'm glad um, to be of assistance. <laughs> uh, Clefaris, I need you to roll me a D, uh, D100. That should be an option, right? I don't think D it is. D100, yeah. Oh. Is it? Yeah, it is. It. So the fourth one I down. I a two. A two? I had a two. <laughs> well. Okay. Actually, uh, I clicked that the same time as I clicked my D4. Roll, just roll it again. Yeah, roll I, don't again. I, I don't know if it actually rolled the D4 there. <coughs> roll it again. Roll it. You didn't see the animation of the actual dice? What? Oh, that was a 1D10. Dude, I'm fucking this up. You got this. The 1D10. You I'm do like, this. why do I one dice roll? Uh, yeah, it's like, it's in between the D8 and the D10. I roll the 10, and then, do I get the cast guidance on this? Nope. Okay, so I roll the 10. 10 out of 100. Um... Okay, I am going to be adding something to your character sheet. Ooh, secrets. Secret. So, so just just to be sure, I uh, 
I was able to write down all that knowledge, correct? Uh, roll me an intelligence check. Natural. For all we know, you were just writing hieroglyphics and you don't even understand what you wrote down. True. Ooh! Uh, 20. Okay, you've, uh, there might be some parts where you're not as keen on the details, but you have the gist of it. I finally get to be, because I, I was, like, writing down scenery and everything. I finally get to be this wisdom turtle I've always dreamed of. You finally get to be a master. So you, were lying. you weren't even a smart turtle earlier. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> I've been high this whole time, but now I have true hey, knowledge. Clefaris, if you want to look at your backstory, I've uh, added something in there that's... Uh, oh, wait, no, that's not the description. Uh, you might have to refresh because I just added it. How do I get the backstory? Uh, it'll be in notes. Oh, notes, okay. Uh, is it the one from Other? Uh, no, it should be right above Other in between your backstory. You might have, like I said, you might have to refresh. Oh, is it like the little line at the bottom? Yeah, that's in All the way down? Okay. Oh, shit. <laughs> Just keep that in mind for role playing in the future. Got it. I don't like that. <laughs> so now I'm looking at Lugnut. Who the fuck are you? Oh, yeah, you look at so Lugnut now? And I say, like, hello, everyone. I would like for you guys to meet my friend Lugnut. He well, is. I, I he... mean, I'm assuming I'm still writing. Like, I'm probably writing for like a solid 20 minutes. Yeah, you're writing, and you get. I will say by now, you've, you've, you've gotten it down. You've gotten it down, and you're just. You look up, and you just see. Yeah, yeah, I'll wait until you're done before I introduce him. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah, yeah. You do your thing. Then I introduce him. Hello, wait, everyone. Wait, no. oh, wait. I look up at this thing I've been just wiping my blood on. What are you? <laughs> he says, and I quote, Hi, I'm Lugnut. He waves at you again. And your blood, like that, it's on his on his hand, it splatters everywhere. <laughs> and I say, Who Hello, do you everyone. serve? This is... And he just points at me. And I say, Hey, guys, this is my friend Lugnut. He's an old friend of mine, and I have been spending a good portion of these last few years trying to get him back, and finally, I've a I've been able to bring him back. This is my friend Lugnut. Is the, impl is the implication that this is a robot with like a human's conscience, or are you, are you just saying that it's in like this is like just a it's a literal robot? Uh, he has a heart, right? Uh, Trevor doesn't steal the yeah. fingers have a heart. <clears throat> Yeah, he has a he has a he has a power source that kind of functions as a heart. He is sentient to a point. I'm saying this to you, Clifford. He's sentient to a point. Okay. He is my <laughs> let's just say let's just say he's my assistant. He's my friend. Lugna, but he's my assistant. Lugna is capable of understanding and commu having his own communication. He is a very high so, intelligence AI. Yeah, he knows all the he and just so you know, Rudy, in case you missed it. He knows the languages you know. Yes, I just seen that during our break. His intelligence, he may not be, sorry, I'm trying to fix my camera here. His, he might not be as smart as you. <laughs> yeah, his intelligence is has, a four. <laughs> yeah, so just keep that in mind. He's not smart. He's probably about as smart as he was when you were originally playing him. Oh, so he's about as smart as I am. No, no, no. no. So your smart is an eight. He is a four. <laughs> so we could walk up. Como estas? Ah, Japanese. I know. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so he's very uh, much... Like like a child, but that he will yeah. Like, whatever Larry says, he j he just does. Now, Trevor, I would like to ask you a question. That I so before when I was like nut, he was a barbarian, right? And I know he's not a barbarian right now. But in the future, if we level up again, can I just give my level up to him to be a barbarian so he can have rage? Uh, I still want to give him the features you, of rage. Like you, so, you remember before the little taste we gave, like whenever he got hit. His eyes turned red. Whether he actually does yeah. double damage or not, I want him to still do that, just so you know. Okay, okay. Yeah, we can, we can flavor it in, and as you level up, he will get better. Okay, cool, cool. Yeah, he improves as you level up. So, guys, think of him as the Hulk. Make Should I tell the team about, or at least tell him little things about what happened? Well, that's your call. That's up to you. What? <laughs> Could I... I'll let him, can I roll, like, an insight to, like, see if that would be a good idea, or is this just literally... Trying to like see into the future how we're all reacting. I'll even just ask you. So what? What? Uh, why do you wake up and start writing? What? What's up with all the blood on your face? What happens? I no one's been in here. I've been I've been awake for the last four hours. Nothing's been going on. Me and Lugna have been on duty. Send it to you, Cliff Harris. I'm like looking around because it's like 
Cause, cause obviously I was like in a play, like I'm assuming I probably don't even necessarily realize I was dreaming. I probably just assume I was teleported there. How did yeah. I get back here? Well, you never left, but you woke up with blood on your face and you started writing a whole bunch of stuff down on what, what happened. You've just been sitting here sleeping, snoring even. I'm just like looking around. I need to keep information to myself until I think more of what's going on. Dude, you know, okay. Is, uh, is that uh, who's, the last one, who's the last one on shift? Me. For the last four hours. Because I only needed okay, four hours of rest. Did you see anything while you were on watch? No, I just made Lugna and then I was just catching up with him. My good pal. I'm going to look outside and like look to see if I see anything. Okay. You're going <clears> to <throat> approach a window and you look out. It's a <clears throat> overcast gray day. No sun is actually coming through. Like you can tell the sun's there because there's light, but the fog is so thick. There's no actual sun, like sunlight penetrating through. You look around. Same thing, the mists are kind of shadowing the trees. Uh, just to, just for knowledge's sake, the, the being in my dream, that was the Count, right? Or who we perceived to be the Count? Like, same shadowy figure? Yeah, no, it's, 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 you saw a painting of him when you first got into the basement. It was, it looked exactly like him. I'm and... going to pull Rudy aside, because Rudy's like the mage. My name's Larry, mm -hmm. son of a gun. I'm gonna pull Larry aside and shove Lugnup's foot up his ass. <laughs> so then I'm gonna have him talk to me in the corner. No. Oh, okay. In my wisdom, I haven't seen magic in which I'm going to describe to you. Do you know of a type of magic that can create a fog around areas? Trevor's gonna make like an arcana, arcana check. Go ahead. Okay. I'm going to give you guidance, by the way. Okay. Okay, uh, if you're above 20. Hold on, yeah, 19 <laughs> plus D4. I rolled a, a 20. I mean, you do you know there, there are some <clears throat> spells that can create, like, fog clouds and stuff at, like, a small radius. So this is, this looks like it's the whole thing, so I don't think so. Yeah, so you can only think of stuff on a small scale. I'm going to choose to trust you with this information as you are the magic one here and I choose to trust you at this moment. This fog is the count. The the statue? No, no. This fog in this area is the ruler of these lands. The fog? I'm sorry, were you... Were you asking if the statue was giving off the smoke, or, or were you saying, like, the guy on the statue? Or the guy on the statue. Yeah, oh, sorry. Yes. He is the creator of this smoke. Uh, sorry, is that who we're about to go meet with in Ravenloft? Uh, yes. I mean, If should... we do decide to go, we need to keep an eye out. I now know things that are making me a target. I mean, I feel like even if... Yeah, I feel like we still have to go, though. Is, at that point, I mean, is he going to force us regardless? We need to keep our eyes open, for sure. Okay. All right. Well, <clears throat> let's get uh, let's get moving before, you know, before you wake up with blood on your face again, yeah? Okay. Jumping on Vud's shoulders back to the old grind. <laughs> Come here, big guy. <laughs> okay. Hey, guys. Total, man. <clears throat> I, can, I can head pets. <laughs> you guys make your way out of Durst Manor, or I guess I could use its proper name now. You guys make your way out of the Death House. Oh my. That's a scary Death and House. The, <clears throat> onto the main road and continue down the way. Not I'd like to point out, as we're walking, I'm looking everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> One roll perception check, so... As you guys are making your way towards the village, in what way you're assuming? Because you, as you approach the main road, you see one section of the road is just it's there's just mist. Sixteen. Okay. Yeah. So there's like there's only one way you're able to go is just further down. 
Like I'm confident we'll... looking out for people in the like the trees and shit. Unless you guys want to try navigating the mists. I just saw uh, one Valentine, to guide us, who is still here even though Joe is not. <laughs> okay, he'll he'll begin showing you guys to the uh <clears throat> to the town of because I think the closest town would be the village of Borovia. So let's just make our way and he starts le leading you guys. Let's say you guys You're all feeling pretty hungry at this point. You guys uh, have been gone for about a day and you haven't ate anything. I have uh, on my character I have uh, one day's worth of what's it called? Uh, rations. Also, can I look into the bag of holding and try to grab out some food that I now grabbed reach... from that guy? <laughs> you reach in? You just think he, there's, like, just hoping there's food in there? Yeah, rations. Good pull up? Nothing. Nothing? Okay. I know, oh, I'm finding out my character sheet. I know that I have, yeah, I have rations one day worth. Every, every <laughs> look in your equipment and see if you have rations. Uh, nothing in here says I do. I have herbalism nope. kit, leather, loot. But I am a wanderer, so worst case scenario, I can go find something. And I also have purify food and drink as one of my uh, spells. Okay. So should we hide? Naturally, turtle turtles can go very long without eating. Does that apply here? It does not apply here. Okay. I mean, can I can I just do a perception <laughs> check for like a squirrel or some kind of animal to eat? Okay, if you, you guys want to try and find yourself? some food, you can. Uh, also. Clefairis, you're, 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 <clears throat> you're keeping an eye out. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. You don't, you oh, know, yeah. I'm never you, nothing, nothing immediately catches your eye, but you keep let glancing around because the mists are playing tricks on you. And I know what the fuck's going on here. You listen yeah. here. You little shit. You're, you're, you're like hyper aware. You're like. Missed you're my like, ass. You're, you're like, you're like crackhead braiding this thing. You're like, it's all, it's all there. It's like. You fucked up. You made me Albert fucking Einstein, bud. <laughs> it's like. It's like You're that paranoid. scene of uh, Always Sunny. And if I'm not just like pointing mist, at the wall of notes. If I'm not looking in the mist, I'm always going to be reading that journal now to make sure I always keep in mind everything. Okay. All right. What is your guys' hunting? Like, look for food rolls. Uh, I mean, what, um, what, do I, what do I roll for that? You and can I either roll survival. Survival, yeah. What I do, survival. Yeah, survival. Roll me some survival. I'm gonna give everybody guidance, by the way. Okay. I rolled an 18. Oh. I rolled a. I rolled an 11. Okay, 18, 11. Dude, everyone of the gills and block A are saying I look sick now because of my lighting. Just so you know, tell them that they're crazy. It, it's that like, like you're you're still pretty white, but I mean like, dude, you That's should because I'm chat. pale you though. See what he looked like before. I'm literally just pale though. I think it's probably, probably no. They pale. said no. They say You're I look yellow. Shirt, They're though. saying I look yellow. You guys, unless for around. some reason you have a different filter in your OBS. I think they're crazy. No, I got the stream pulled up. He looks fine. Thank you. And I got a blue light filter. Thank you. On my phone, so I, I mean, he looks perfectly fine. fine. He doesn't look any like I feel like my face looks. Sorry, we more had a break break the character light. there, but I'm sick and tired of freaking I, gills. I think I have, Rudy. I think I have some pictures of Lugnut in my kitchen. Oh, can dude. Okay, we need to uh, bust those out and show it to the crew. Okay, uh, yeah, so you guys look around, and you're not really finding anything. There's no animals. There's no, like, like any kind of, like, edible, like, things amongst the trees or the plant life. It's pretty barren and dead. Well, I mean, I'm just going to eat my rations then. I mean, I just have my one one day worth of rations. I'll just eat those. You guys are all gonna be even, even with your one day rations. You're oh, still gonna I have be... ten. It says quantity ten. Oh, okay. D does anyone else have like rations, guys? You guys all have nope, your own. I got. That's an equipment, right? It's an equipment. Yeah. You scroll down. I have. Oh, I have nothing. Okay, well Inventory, I'm gonna I'm gonna dish out my yeah, rations nothing. to the boys. I don't know how I got all these, but I. So how many do I got to do? Minus five. One day worth uh, of rations. Yep. Yep. Minus minus five. Yeah, Why yeah. does my clothes have a piece of cake next to it? <laughs> I don't know. Oh, crap. So, I removed my five days worth of rations and I got rid of all of them. Son of a gun. How do I give those so back? Five days worth of, uh, days worth of rations. Well, I had three. one day each he's got, he's got and I gave out to five, five people. All right. I'm officially changing so, the blanket to wolf pelt. So, you hand out. It's all like something like 
bits of granola bar and dried meat, beef jerky, really. Um, it's it'll 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 get you guys through. It's delicious. <laughs> it's delicious. It's delicious. I love me some jerky and granola. Mm-hmm. As we're doing that, I'd, uh, I'm like telling the group as we're eating because obviously we're not like enjoying the meal. Uh, I do have this jewelry box for when we get into town. Perhaps we can use to get some more food. We have lots of money too. No, you don't. <laughs> <laughs> you guys keep yeah, this going. Do, I'm do gonna go to the, the tavern. Hey, you guys keep this going. Oh. I'm gonna go to the tavern tonight. Keep it going. Okay. So one second. Egg, uh, bacon, grits. I could have swore at one point though I took that money. Oh no, no. I swiped the jewelry box. I swiped the jewelry box. You away. took you you swiped the jewelry box. Man. I have four ninety worth of gold right now. I have five. You're saying we all uh, you know, like, we should have enough once we get into pound. So. I wanna get an attuned item. I wanna attune my loot. I'm sorry, I'm looking up something that I Rolled. Hello, Joe. Tengu here. Hello. Hey, hey. Hey, hey. Sorry, I'm late. What did I miss? Um, um, actually, like quite a bit. Enough that you should watch the episode. <laughs> what did fought, you miss, okay. bro? I killed a baby. They fought, slayed the flesh golem. No, that's that's fine. I understand. I I had plans tonight already, and then I was like, I'll try to make it home as best I can, and then it just didn't happen. So yeah, all, gonna, all cool. They, in a nutshell, oh. they fought and destroyed the flesh golem. Had a visit from a dusk elf gentleman who invited them to dinner, who then disappeared. When I'm you a... attempted to pursue. I'm a thirty okay. turtle with centuries of knowledge now. Rested inside of the children's room in the death house. The, well, the children and, aren't there anymore. They they uh like yeah. We gave them their brother back, the baby brother back. The baby skeleton. Okay. Yeah. And they were and like, then, oh, thank you, and then they left. They vanished. Now you guys are on the road to Barovia. Well, Ravenloft, when, right? To, to to the town of Barovia. The, we're going yeah, to Barovia okay. first. And you are you you are aware because they informed you that this dusk elf gave you guys an invitation to dinner at Castle Ravenloft. So really okay, yeah. Requested by Strahd himself. Yeah. So yeah, you guys were on your way to the village when you guys realized you hadn't eaten like twenty four hours. Oh, I just gave everyone one. rations. Yeah, so you guys just split some rations, and you're currently on your way to the village when uh, Vud, roll me a d100. Uh-oh. But no, yeah, and in my case, all you need to know is I'm a genius now. Also, look, that's back. <laughs> 51. 51. Okay. As you're as you guys are walking along, something catches your eye in like the branch of a tree. You kinda what's that? You kinda reach up and you pull it out and you grab a tiny cage that fits in the palm of your hand, but it has no door. It's just a cage, but there's no way to get it open to get anything inside. Is it a see through cage? Yeah, is it like a jail cell? It's like metal, or is it just like a cage? It's like a, it's a little cage, or... like a little like cage, like you would use for like, like hunting for a or trap. Yeah, for like a oh. bird. It's like a little cage. It's okay. like that big, a little square cage, like the bars, but there's no, there's no door. Okay. There's no way to open it. It's just bars wrapped completely around. We just see that while we're walking. Yeah, it was just sitting in a. It was just sitting in a tree. Okay. Well, okay. I guess I show the group like look what I found. Do I have any idea what that is? Do I have uh, any idea what that is? You guys can roll an intelligence check. Okay. Now that I have centuries of knowledge. <laughs> you guys find out it's a birdcage. <laughs> the New York Pigeons. <laughs> uh, 13. Uh, Valentine, make sure you add my guidance D4 on it. Uh, guidance D4? Okay. Um. Whoops. Wrong thing. That's an OP cantrip. 
Yeah, it's pretty uh, good. Uh, let's see. Da, da, da. That's a total of 14 altogether. All right. 14. Yes, you... Yes, kind of look at it, and you can't really tell. It's just a weird cage. Does it Do seem we... like a trinket? Or like... It seems like a trinket of sorts. If Vud shakes it, does he... Like, is there any... Can you sense anything inside? Do you shake it, Vud? Vud, go shake that thing. V Vud shakes it. Vud shakes it. It's just air. Just air whistling through. It's a cage, guys. Why, <laughs> why would it make noise? It's empty. I'm gonna ask the, the group. Do you want me to you to detect if there's any magic on it? I feel like we're putting too much thought into this random birdcage here on the side of the road. <laughs> if I'm gonna be completely yeah, honest, I, I have to agree. I don't think that it's necessary to okay. look at this I'll too throw much. It. It's Assuming probably that... some random trinket. Assuming Bud's gonna, gonna throw it. it. Throw no, it no, 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 not throw it away. I'm just gonna say throw it in like a bag or whatever. I'm gonna reach for it from Vud to throw it in my bag. <laughs> okay, you can keep it. I'm fine. I'll give it to as a, as you guys are discussing this and moving along the road. A you guys can smell the scent of a rotting corpse. You you think you're only like maybe an hour's hike outside of this outside of the town of Barovia, or. Valentine, you would know that just with your lay of the land, but the smell of like a rotting corpse just fills your nostrils. And everyone smells that. Yeah, everyone of okay. everyone of you can smell it. You guys can hear just kind of around the bend, a kind of gnashing and tearing. What are we rolling? Perception. No, nothing. We just automatically smell a rotting corpse. Is what he was saying. Mm -hmm. And we hear the thrashing and whatnot around the bend. Oh boy, I feel I feel it's that bat that Valentine and I ran into yesterday. Could be. Do we? I mean, do we want to attack it so it doesn't Can hunt I... us later, or do we just want to move along? How, how? Like, where? Where do we hear this? Can I like gauge how far kind, it is? It's just kind of like down, down like the. Uh... Are we moving um, towards it? it? Yeah, you guys are moving towards it. It's like okay. maybe sixty feet ahead of you, like kind of the Lysphalic Road. That you know, it would be it kind of comes up and it kind of turns a little bit around the bend. There's like some woods that grow right there, so it's just like a little bit past your eye line just because okay. of the way the road's going. And let me, know, um, you... I'm gonna turn to everyone and I'm gonna be like, let me scout ahead for just a moment and see if maybe there's some sort of danger. It sounds like the gnashing of teeth in a dead body. I like tiny human thought, he's sneaky. Well, I was also going to say, like, if, like, because I'm assuming he's an elf, he'd probably, like, go up in the trees. I should disguise myself with a wolf on the ground. I don't think it's necessary. Uh, wait, you no. can transfigure or whatever? He has, or uh, no, he has this guy self. I don't think, oh, like, metagame, I don't think no, you should waste his spell slot. You can't use disguise self to become a different creature like that. Like, uh, it says like effect shape changing. Does it? I thought you could only use it to take the form of another person. Look, it butt, has to be right? a. It says you can seem one foot shorter or taller. You can appear thin, fat, or in between. You can't change your body type, so. So like turning into a wolf would work, but you can like make yourself bigger. Yeah, it says yeah, it says and you make must yourself look like slightly like slightly different. Yeah, it says you must adopt a form that has the same basic basic arrangement of limbs. So it's, it says it says basically an illusion of you, so you can you would so not like, be able to do that. What you did at a. Uh... Yeah, it's a disguise, but like, like a shape shift. Okay, so what I did at rest work, though. Yeah, what you did at rest work, because you made yourself, you had the same basic body type. You just made yourself look bigger and more imposing. And Yeah, you could make yourself look like Hulk Hogan, but you can't make yourself look like a caterpillar. Yeah, because like, when they rest, he used it to make himself look bigger. Right, like, like more, Let me tell you something real quick. I just so. thought it was illusionary based. Hey, that, it is illusionary base, but it's more okay. limited to like you have to have the same body structure. It's a disguise. You're like a stunt double. Oh, okay. Because somebody. if someone yeah. comes up and like looks at it too hard, you're you're basically you're bluffing. You're, it's a bluff. Poke, get your poker face, kids. We're bluffing. Okay. So, okay. So, so what's the plan? Anyway, yeah. Valentine, sneak up, try to stealthily figure out what's going on around the bend, right? Go check it out, homie. All right. 
a bounty? Want me to stop? Okay. <clears throat> How far away is he technically? A natural one. Okay. Because if so, he's if he's within sixty feet, I can still give him guidance. It's not gonna matter. Oh, yeah, true. With a natural one, I mean, unless it was like a four and he sees something. Okay, so you uh, kind of move forward. And you're kind of like instead of moving around the road, you're gonna kind of squeeze through like the trees and stuff. And as you approach, there is a. You see these wolves tearing at a corpse. And as you're stepping, you step on a, like you're watching, and then. You. You're is watching you. You honestly don't think about it. Cause you're like you're you're going through the motions. You're staying quiet. You're stepping on the right things. And then, you see him. The figure of your nightmares. The devil himself is standing there, staring right at you in the tree as you are standing in the trees. Hello, phone. Hello. He's staring at us menacingly. <laughs> He's standing there menacingly. Oh, boy. Are you Mike kidding? Wazowski. You're just like, hello. <laughs> <laughs> Are you Squidward? <laughs> He's staring right at me. Mm-hmm. He just kind of... He's kind of sitting there, sitting there. He's watching the wolves, and as soon as you step up, he kind of looks up. It makes direct eye contact with you. Where are we all there? Or did Valentin go check by himself? He checked by himself. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna do a. <laughs> I'm gonna ego challenge him. Ego <laughs> 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 uh, gotten way into Call of Duty right now. <laughs> Things got too far. And I'm gonna try and make a charisma roll here. <laughs> okay, what are you trying to accomplish? Another man likes to whip it out of the table. I'm going to try and play it off and just say, what time were our dinner plans again? <laughs> okay. I like it. So you're just going to look at him and go, are you, uh... so deception? Is that what you're going for? Sure. Yeah. Okay. Just to, just to not get killed. That's all. Just <laughs> roll I, well, I guess deception. Yeah. I'm just trying to not be afraid. <laughs> oh, you're trying to not be afraid. Yeah. Uh, uh, I feel like that might be more of like a wisdom saving throw. Uh, well, I guess I could roll that too. Uh, but if, if you're letting me have the deception, it's a 17. So. Okay. I, I, it's a performance. Uh, yeah, maybe performance, which would also be 17. So. He, he you say that, and he kind of gives you like this kind of half smile. I mean, like you see, like one side of his lips, t- like what, like one corner of his mouth, kind of cocks in the air. He goes. Ah, uh, you Martikovs always know what to say. <laughs> whips out AK-47. <laughs> Can't really uh, he whips out AK-47. Can't do, can't do. <laughs> you always know what to say. Pulls out a gun. <laughs> GTA 6. <laughs> Dinner is whenever you can find yourselves in Ravenloft. I will be waiting. I just figured I would be polite and greet you guys, your friends, in the person for the first time. Over a dead corpse. <laughs> this, I believe, he was uh, trying to find some help. How'd it go? As you can uh, see, it, can uh... I see the body? Oh yeah, you yeah you see the body. He goes, hang on. He kind of like looks down. He goes, give our friends, give our friend a look. You watch the wolves kind of. Step off, and you, uh, you recognize the man. You know him to have been a kind of not like not of a servant, but like kind of an assistant to the burgomaster of Barovia. Oh, okay. Yeah, you, like you. So you've had some encounters with him just due to your family business and whatnot. So you were familiar with him. Was he a nice man or was he yeah, a he's... jerk? He, he was pretty polite for the time okay. you met him. Was well, being the key. Because <laughs> he did not uh, get the permission to leave these lands. So. What a shame. But it is a fate to be expected of anyone that tries to leave Barovia. 
And we're going in there? <laughs> yes. Anyone who dares to leave these lands. And he kind of, he stares directly at you. You see his eyes squint for a second. Anyways. Dinner. Do I need to greet your friends or should, uh, would you, or you pass my best on to them? I will pass, pass your best on to them, of course, unless you would like to. Of course, I can't stop you, but we will try to be punctual <laughs> for <It> dinner. <laughs> I, I hope luck not reads them. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like that. <laughs> I, I, we will try to be punctual for dinner as long as we don't have any. And then I like kind of look at the wolves and say, "Incidents." <laughs> Why, did Joe really is show? Show really is ego checking this guy, <laughs> the guy who can literally just wipe us all like Thanos style. You're ego checking him. <laughs> <laughs> and the guy just ego checking Thanos just stop I finally got the infinity going you won't bitch well, in the name of punctuality he looks at he he looks down at the wolves again get get lost and they all just they all they all scatter you guys from the other bend of the road you guys see like a group of like six to ten wolves go dart darting in the woods from just around the bed. I look at the group. Wow, Valentine must be really scary. <laughs> and then he goes, I will at least Nah, I, I, you give them my best. You should be no, I am not a fan of being kept waiting. Of course. And of we will meet soon enough. So Tell that turtle he's handsome. <laughs> and with that, he kind of he turns in. Now you all see this pat, this like I don't know if there's actually a term to it, but like this flock of bats go up into the sky. I go back to the party. <laughs> and I'm like, take out my flask of water, and I'm like. Hey guys. <laughs> <laughs> He's just like panic drinking. So, so there's nothing over there. <laughs> just, uh, just, uh, it's all clear. <laughs> it was just some wolves. <laughs> I, think, I, think uh, I the, spilled some water on myself. I think that's the first. That's the first time out of all the times playing this setting that someone decided to ego check Strahd. <laughs> Thanos himself, I, uh, bro. I uh, they, they were just acting in a squirrel. Nothing much. <laughs> Position yep. himself behind the group. Yeah, you guys go ahead. Yeah, so you guys can do with that what you please, or you can continue on to the village. Let's continue I on. Think, uh, the reason I did that is because I figured that to show weakness in front of Strahd would disgust him. <laughs> Oh, dude, when we had, when I was in my dream, I whipped it out on the table, dude. I totally fucking said, bet, bitch, and I tried to read his mind. <laughs> so <laughs> that's how I learned centuries of wisdom. Uh, anyway, um, I won't lie to any of you, but uh, uh, Strad Van Zarovich, he met me in, in that place where the wolves were and the dead body and we spoke for a moment and I would just like to say uh, please do not disrespect him in any kind of way when we meet with him. Uh, however, also don't show any kind of weakness to him either. Just be respectful. Fuck him. <laughs> uh, okay. <laughs> we will move to Barovia now. Yes. Hmm. Okay. Do we have a choice? So. No. <laughs> you guys continue on, and it's still pretty early. It's still like you guys probably left pretty early in the morning, so it's still about noon by time 
you guys have reached the outskirts of the, the village. You guys see tall shapes looming out of a dense fog. Uh, muddy ground soon gives way to slick, wet cobblestone. Tall shapes become recognizable as village dwelling. You see the windows of each house stare out from pools of blackness. No sound cuts the silence. It's just, it's silent, but what you see is this, what do you think is a picturesque, like, Victorian, like, kind of gothic town or city? It's, uh, so, let me see if I can give you guys, find the map of Borovia. Hey, why are you looking for that? Do I stop my inspiration from Cliff Harris from yesterday, or does that wipe away after the long that rest? That's, uh, no, that's gone. I thought It'll so. It'll 10 minutes. Yeah, I thought so. I just wanted to make sure. Also, remember, I never actually gave it to you, technically. Oh, okay. I realized... Well, I ended up telling the tale instead. Oh, that's so, right. Well, there we go. I don't have the map in front of me for some reason. I feel like we deserve a level up. <laughs> uh, I feel like levels are going to start coming, f like, less often than... You know what I'm saying? So... I could send you this map, but I realized when I changed about the town, it's vastly different. So, Barovia was a town of, like, 3,000 people. It's, picture it as, like, it's more of the size of, like, it's, like, Victorian London now. It's a map, it's, like, it's a city. Instead of just, like, this little, like, homlet as it was for, like, uh... Joe and Rudy, who kind of get the get the reference here, because you guys are familiar with the town as you've played play through it. It's much bigger. Or was like a town of three thousand is more of like a town of, or a city of more like close to two hundred thousand. Whoa. Okay. That's cool, right. economy. It's like a buff. And well, for even for that matter. Valentin, you don't remember the town being this big. I see. I'm, I'm going to look at him. Does it look like how you remembered it? That is quite the strange thing to ask me. Well, I know and you're Incidentally, funny. no. Oh, what a weird meta question. I mean, <laughs> weird. Do you okay. ever walk up to your hometown? Is this how you remember it? Because I have this weird urge in my head that this is much bigger than you once thought it was. I'm not metagaming. <laughs> It's a casual thing to ask. What the fuck no, do you mean? it's not casual. Yes, it is. Do you like hey, you hang out with your friends? You guys want to go back to my place? Sure. Is this All how right. you remember it? Then we like show up at my door. Is this how you remember your house? <laughs> well, well, yeah, uh, weird. You should years. ask because no, I don't remember it being like this. I'm assuming you haven't been here in years. I said it was months at the beginning of the game. Oh, I don't remember that then. <laughs> See, he doesn't remember anything either. It's okay. Yeah. Also, I was high as hell, so... <laughs> he was high as hell. So, For legal reasons, in-game. <laughs> it's been, like, this constant, like, dreary, like, kind of rain hitting the ground. Very much the smell of, like, rotting earth and, like, that still puddle smell. Where it's like that water's been sitting stagnant for a few days. And as you guys are walking into the city... It's there. There's like some people like you know, it's like you see up ahead, you see a this kind of elderly woman kind of working this like it's kind of standing in the small stand. There's a line of people standing in front of the stand. And. As you're sitting there for a moment, then she like kind of opens the door and then. The smell of baked goods. Hits your up, hits your nostrils. You guys smell that? It is a such a drastic change from like the Sorry. granola and stuff you guys have been like munching on just trail rations. It's to not a rotting dead, corpse yeah, either. the rotting corpses, the musky old house, the stagnant puddles of water. Mm -hmm. This is on a completely different playing field. Yeah, we got we gotta go there. We gotta go. Are we going? And, uh, I'm going. I gotta, I gotta check my pockets first. Oh, I got gold. Oh, no, I got 200 gold, baby girl. As you guys approach, you see, like, the line starting to dissipate as you get closer. 220, by the just, way. This, uh, what'd you say? 
I was telling uh, Valentine, 220 gold. I have a bag of holding now. As you guys are approaching the line, slowly dissipating as you get close, as you approach the the older woman, looks goes, Oh, well, look at you all. You all look like you've been a little travel weary, soaked to the bone. Yeah. Well, I mean, you could say that. You all look pretty hungry. Would you like you like a pie? I can... Yes. I like pie. Yes. And cool. Lugna says, hi, I'm Lugna. <laughs> <laughs> what's a pie? Don't miss his Lugna, bro. <laughs> uh, what kind of pies do you have to offer? Oh, she goes, I got I got a few. I've got a, uh, she kind of, she kind of reaches in. She hear, and when she opens up, you see like kind of the steam coming out of like this little kind of box that she has attached to her cart and she opens it up and the steam and like smoke comes out and you just smell like for the fresh freshly baked pie as well she goes uh let's see here i've got a couple of potato and herbs i've got a just a mixed vegetable i've got a nice savory meat pie or if you're more of a sweet fan i got a nice uh sweet tart pie oh do you have any mulberry yes i believe that i uh this one is mulberry for sure Hey, how much? For you all, it's on the house. You look like you could use it. Are we getting a I, pie each, or are we all sharing a pie? Like, I bring, I bring, they're, they're, can, huh? can, I, can I grab Valentine and can I dress her to you to step to the yeah. side? Yeah, they're, they're, they're decent sized pies. How about an insight check on that? Seems okay. a little too nice for Barovia. Although some things have changed. Oh, Kaz got it. Clearly. Mm -hmm. um, so make sure you can do a D4. Uh, D4 too. Okay. Yeah, just keep in mind, guidance is literally everything. Might as well. 22. 22? I don't know about uh, it. You? She's being very forthright. Like. Okay. She's like, I... <clears throat> she's just like, you, you're kind of like stopping and staring at her for a moment. She goes... She goes, I've got I've got some grandchildren around your age. I just I just don't like seeing people go hungry if I can help feed the people in uh in the in our towns. Then if it's a little bit I can do to help after the famines hit, then I'll do what I can. And she kinda I say, uh well I appreciate your compassion upon us. She kind of goes, she goes, oh, so what all kind of pies are you guys wanting? Uh, Trevor, if we get a bunch of pies, can we save them as rations, or how does that, they probably, how does that work? Uh, you, they, they won't last terror, like, they'll so last. So how long do rations, like, normally last, like, the rations I have? Well, rations are a okay. combination of, like, dried meats that, are, you know, things that are preserved specifically to yeah. last a, a while. So how do we or acquire is this those? a freshly baked pie, it okay. would rot just like any other pie. Okay. Yeah, so you, I you thought so. So have... how do we acquire rations then? Like to store us? Gonna... We can yeah, make just... them or we can buy them. Okay. Yeah, yeah. like I have an herbalism kit. Cool, cool. cool. I just want to make <laughs> yeah, sure. Yeah, so like the pie, you would, it would probably say just with with the, like without like containers and just like put maybe even just like even just storing them in the bag of holding which will kind of put them in like a pocket sea in the astral like the astral sea kind of like its own pocket dimension um i could say if each of you got a pie it would probably last you roughly a week okay it might as well right and depending like hurt. like it would it would a week till it goes bad right so, now, if it goes bad and I use purified food and drink, does it become not bad again? Or is that, like, a totally different thing? Because purified food just gets rid of poison and disease. This isn't necessarily a poison. Yeah, yeah, yeah. this is necessarily poison and disease. Okay. It's more like I just, just rot. Yeah, yeah, I got you. I got you. Okay. I was just curious. I just want to figure out how to, like, store rations. It's like if all. you take a piece of spoiled meat and you fry it. It's still spoiled. It's still spoiled meat. Yeah, I got you. Okay. I just wanted to clarify. It, I mean, that makes sense. I just want to clarify. Yeah. Who? She goes, uh, how many pies are you guys wanting? And uh, what, what kind? Can I have an apple pie? She goes, oh, certainly. She goes, reach down and pulls out and puts a pie out in front of you. I'd Wait. like a pie, pretty pie, please. An apple pie. 
Son of a gun, Joe. I don't know anything else. Is there an orchard somewhere that I don't Son know? of a gun, Joe's gonna make this all <laughs> weird. Fine, a freaking meat pie. What are the options she's she said? So irrelevant. Yeah, this is she so irrelevant. She goes, <laughs> she goes, yes, there's some. Give me a buzz <laughs> Recently got an orchard to grow. We got some apples to grow. It's been a while. It's hard work, but we got one growing. And yeah, we want some great value vanilla ice cream, too. Is that too much, Joe? <laughs> Oh no 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 no! I'm just saying maybe maybe we could visit the orchard. It's uh, do you know the the Martikovs? Yes, I'm familiar with the Martikovs. They've uh, they I wasn't not sure how they did it, but they've managed to get a couple of trees growing. It's been nice. I will pay them a visit. She goes. What? So, Dent, what did you ask for? I'm not gonna ask for a blackberry pie. Or I'm, I'm gonna have to hear about an orchard around. I'll take an apple pie. <laughs> <laughs> okay, she pulls out another one. She goes, "Poor Joe." Uh, the rest of you? Well, I wanted the mulberry pie. Oh yes, I forgot. That. She pulls out and sits that in front of you and sits you. Oh, and she, what can I get you, big fella? Could I have meat pie, please. Me. I knew that was coming. <laughs> Absolutely. She goes and she reaches down. She pulls. She sits, sits, sits a meat pie out in front of you guys. And we'll just say whatever pie Jimothy wants, he gets. Good job, Jimothy. <laughs> Jimothy gets doing pie. Terrific. Jimothy gets a freaking pie. He's doing terrific. He gets a uh, what was the first one? Garlic and vegetable or it something? Was a, it, it was a potato and herb. Potato, potato and herb, yeah. I think a guy who yeah, does air like potato and, that. Like a potato and rosemary pie. Uh, that, kind, that kind of sounds good, not gonna lie. <laughs> hey, Rudy? Yeah. I'm gonna give you my pie to put in the bag of holding, so I'm not gonna add it to my equipment. I'm assuming you're gonna add it to yours that you're like you're storing yep. it. Okay. I, I'm gonna eat mine right now. Wait, I'm gonna I'm, I'm really gonna hungry. try to stop you from eating and say, let me just purify this just in case. I mean, you make this place seem like it's quite, quite shitty. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm gonna, if, if, and if I'm gonna do like, I'm gonna. Do a ritual of purified food and drink on all the pies just to make sure there's yeah. nothing, no shenanigans. People That's, in Brooklyn don't give out free pies. <laughs> yeah, people don't give out free pies, bro. Okay. I'm also going to eat my pie. Okay, so two of you are eating pies. I'm going to eat a quarter of mine and give, give like a, the other three quarters. I'm, I'm a small little turtle. Is it like, like, per, like, wait, is it personal sized or like the kind where like two slices and you're like, whoa, that's enough? It's like it's enough for where you guys can get like for it, it, you guys are all given like a pie yourselves, but it's they're big enough that where there you can get six or six or seven slices, maybe more depending on how. Oh, big so it's like a them. family size pie. So yeah, let's just eat one pie as a crew, and we can put I the other it was like a little pot pie or something. No, no, no. Let's eat like the pie. Size, one, two. No, no, so we have one, two, pies. three, four, Jeez. four pies we can put away then, like to last a week. I mean, it doesn't hurt, yeah. and then we can see one now as a crew. Okay, I got a serious question though. With oh, wait, the the big they're, they're, four, they're four servings. They're four servings. Oh, take and eat so, this whole pie. Yeah, they're four servings. Say, like, one pie for me would be like. Yeah, I'm just trying to keep right. rations around us all, guys. I'm a, yeah. I'm gonna eat one piece of mine and give the give the other three quarters to uh to Larry. I'm gonna say Rudd. Okay. Ooh, ooh. Is the lady gonna give a pie to Lugnut? Lugnut is one. Why does Lugnut does want no pie? pie. Right, so ration shell. It's a pie. sentient mechanical being that does not require food. Hey, don't say so, that stuff to my friends. Take your <laughs> eating your whole pie and the rest of you oh, are yeah. just eating a slice. Oh yeah. Okay. I need you to make costumes. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. No, I purified okay. a mother lover. Yeah, so are you gonna I put the other three quarters one. of your pie in my bag? One. I need you guys no. to make an STD check. <laughs> you guys gain eight temporary hit points. Oh snap, dude. Is there a way to you are, points? And you are immune to charm effects. Yeah, uh, on the right, quick temp. Until a oh. long rest. Immune to charm until a long rest. Nice. How long? And I'm, we keep the temporary hit points until long rest? Yep. Okay. Now this is epic. Can I? Oh, this, this Wait, is, no, no, no. 24 hours. Or it lasts for 24 hours. Okay. So this is an odd one. Uh, can I heal temporary points? Just yeah. let's see what we get in the battle. Okay. And they're gone, they're gone. You ever play Overwatch? Uh, a little bit. Well, it's... Uh, well, I don't know if you'll get this. It's more like armor than it is like shields. 
Gotcha. So Torbjorn Shield. Or yeah, armor. It, it goes on top of your eight hit points, but once it's gone, it's gone. Gotcha. Okay. She goes, well, I hope you enjoy if you uh, want more. I typically hear, but if you... But if I'm not, a, or if you make your if you make your way towards Velaki, there sh there's a old windmill that my me and my granddaughters have refurbished, and we're kind of working out of there. Old bone grinder. Yeah, we uh thought it was crazy, and we decided to buy it ourselves. But it's I just realized technically, don't I know the city too? Because, I mean, I saw it through all those visions. You saw a much smaller city. I feel like you are going to say something, Joe, so that's why I was pausing. Nope. She was all right. I uh, hope you have fun and have, well, have fun. Enjoy your time inside the city if, well, for whatever reason you're here. I... Try not to be outdoors at night. It's strange here. Strange how? People have been... A lot of people have been getting sick and others are just disappearing. Okay. Well, thank you for the tip and thank you for the pies. Oh, it's no problem. She just kind of smiles yeah, and that's about all. Yep. So, where are you guys going? Following Valentine. Uh, how how lively is the city? You said it's silent. Uh, around here, it's kind of like it was. It was like when you guys got, it was kind of quiet. Though you're like maybe a few like ten minutes in. To the city now and it's starting to pick up here and there the further you get in you see a little bit more people a little bit more people it's not packed but there it's it's busy busier than what you've ever known it to be well i, want... I find some stranger mm -hmm. or something you know and i say uh excuse me uh it's been quite some time since i visited the uh, barovia is the blood of the vine tavern still in business here. The place that we used to go to every once in a while. And the person actually goes, "Well, uh, I was like, I'm trying to remember Barovian accents. I think I've lost it. I've been doing that granny voice. So the uh, yeah, the tavern is it's still around. It's it's uh, he kind of points over because it just got they got bought uh, about a month ago." Okay, thank you. I, I think we'll pay it a visit. He kind of nods and he stops for a second and then it stops you. He goes, you say you haven't been to ta the city in a while. Correct? Oh, yes. I... He kind of pulls you close. He kind of, he kind of gestures for you to come closer and he kind of whispers, There is a. I'm so stuck in this accent that I can't even like get out of it. There's a cathedral that was built some time ago. I. For whatever, I don't. I don't recommend going there. How ominous for you to say. There's. It's like if, if for any reason, just avoid the larger cathedral in the city. You go to. He goes. You've been here. You know Father Donovich, correct? I've heard of him. I. And he kind of points. He goes. For whatever reason, for mass or whatever, just go to Donovich. It's just, it's better. Very he, well. He leaves. Well, shall we visit the tavern? It's time. Okay. So, um, you guys make your way to the tavern, and 
where the sign on the front as you all approach the it's the ta the tap uh, it's kind of in this like square it the, the streets are cobbled they're little they're still a little damp and there's a couple of like horse drawn carriages that move by you as you guys make your way there it's the as you, you approach this kind of quaint looking building it's about two stories uh it's like one the the, the floor the ground level is a bit longer there's like a little balcony up to, on top of like on top of that and with the door they get onto it looks like there's more seating on there and as you approach uh you notice the it looks like the, a, a, a sign was hanging there it looks like it's, it's in the process of being taken down and a new sign is being put up and as you guys approach the sign that puts up, you see this, uh, these, the sign is like these in intricate re weaving, like, uh, vines kind of moving across the placard, and a raven is designed and perched on top of the, the vine, and instead of, um, the name of the establishment is it is now, is now the perched on the vine tavern. I see. And let's see here. Let me get my refer to my notes because I have like so many things open. Uh, hello. Hello. D and D Beyond. Hi. Oh, I'm, not D &D Beyond. Beyond. I'm not D and D Beyond. I'm not D and D Beyond. You're not D and D no, Beyond. Not me. That's not me. Um, as you as you guys approach in, following uh, Valentine into the inn, you see, Valentine, you see two faces. You instantly recognize. Uh, you see Danica and Erwin Martikoff. Kind of looking like, like uh, cleaning the counter and getting things in order. And and yeah, like they're instantly recognizable. Yeah, you you you've seen these faces plenty of times. They don't look see... like. Ten years older, <laughs> or anything. <laughs> oh yeah, they, they, I'm starting to get concerned about. They, they, yeah, they look a little older, older, and as you enter in, they both look at each other, and then look at you, and and Erwin just goes, "Valentine," in the flesh, and that's where we'll stop for the night. Dang. I remember that one time when a, a monster ate me, and then I drag styled destroyed it from the inside. Guardians yeah, of the Galaxy like, Two. After the time a monster ate me, and I stabbed a baby. <laughs> <laughs> I Good night, GGS. That.